Screen cam. There we go. Okay, okay. Hey, okay. I think they could hear you, maybe. Say something. We're testing. Nope. I just got to do this. Yeah, there you are. Hello. I can hear you munching. Anyway, what's crackalacking? It is your boy, Bro Schmo. Just in case you did not know, so I'm here with Alex. Thank you for joining me today, Alex. Actually, I'm going to make this a little bigger. Mm. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Can't complain about being larger. All right. All right. All right. We haven't decided on a lot of things here. If you don't know, we're just doing a back and forth mock draft. It's going to be a good old time. Oh, yeah. Questions, comments, concerns. You could always super chat or hit at Broshmo in the uh, chat. That way it's highlighted. I could see it. it. Highlights my name. I'm like, oh, someone, they're trying to say something to me, and I can respond to it. But anyway, uh, so we haven't really planned this at all. <laughs> no. No, we haven't. All right. So uh, first off, what? how many rounds do you want to do, my friend? Let's rock with two. Rock with two. We're going to be doing two rounds. Uh, not predictive. Screw that crap. I learned my lesson. People hate predictive, and they always, always come at you for it. And it's like, I'm sorry. These are rumors coming out of your camp. What am I going to do about it? Maybe you aren't just choking on the smoke like you should be. Dude, I want the smoke. All right. And once we get into the actual draft, I'll, I'll rearrange us because I know you want to be able to see what's going on. Uh, I'm just going to hit start draft. There's no timer. Uh, we haven't decided who's doing what. So I'm going to put us over here because I want, I want the people to get a good look at what's going on. It's a good start. I'm going to make us real big. I pulled this up on the phone so I can see the chat too. Oh, yeah. I'm a multitasker. We're doing two rounds, Greg. Greg, not three rounds, two rounds. You think I got all night? Do you know how long it takes to do three rounds? We know. I mean, this is why we should put a timer on it, honestly. Uh, don't you know the conferences. Uh, I mean, we could. I think it would be interesting to also talk about trades. Why are you making that look? I'm looking right here at it. My freaking head is in another dimension. Hey, we know who the moneymaker is. Hold on. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. <laughs> um. Hey, we're PG here, but. Oh, right. <clears throat> Screw you, dude. If you guys want to go PG-13, you can come to my you can come to my home, my little section. There we go. Hold on. Hold on. There you I'm go. I'm going to make sure you... There you go, bud. There we go. I there think that, we I think go. that's the best look for this. Guess what? There We're we going to have an overlay next time we do this. Oh, so yeah. You can, you can thank me for bringing up that idea. Yeah, and exactly. Stock exchange idea. Where do I see the Texans yeah. going if you had to bet money right now? Golly, Jared, it feels like offensive tackle, but honestly could be edge. Who knows? Uh, I took the AFC last time. Yeah. You want to just do back and forth? Because then we could just totally screw each other over. Now you're down losses. for back and forth? Let's have fun. Oh, I was doing the face because of the weird camera stitch. I was trying to give you feedback. No, you've never been down for a back and forth. You're always Mr. That's the Conference. fun part. People, this is your leader right here. I ain't a leader of nobody. Y'all, <laughs> everyone makes up their own mind. We're individuals. It's true. Gojo has his own way. You know, Gojo's the Gojo's leader. locked out the room. <laughs> Gojo's uh, like Emperor Palpatine. He's always he's, there. He's great. We are going to be doing trades. Okay, we could go back and yeah. forth, and we could yeah. just could discuss trades. Yeah, I think that's fair. We feel like maybe a team will trade up. I think yeah, that's, that's, that's funny. That's nice. That's smart. Yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. Something new. So who wants to start first? Do we want to like rock, paper, scissors or something? Um, how about I have a number between I have one or two. Two like, rounds I'm everybody, one. two rounds. Yes. I'm holding up a one or a two. Here, you I'll guess, better. and if you get it right, then you go first. Here, I'll adjust the title for you guys real quick. Are you listening to me? I am listening. You said uh um you're gonna put something behind your back. And I'm not gonna question it because it's 2022, baby. <laughs> oh, so I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what you're doing either. I, I really want to support your humor in this one. I just can't yeah, do it. Don't do it. Hey, all right. So it's in the title. It's two rounds. So if there's any other questions, we're the Bro Schmoers. No, we need better names than that. Sorry, guys. 
All right. So you said you're going to put a number behind your back? One or two. If you guess it right, you go first. If you don't. How do I know you're not lying? I mean, I don't really have much to gain by lying. How about this? I'll turn around. And then you put it up on screen. And then I will decide. You close your eyes. You got pictures back there. I know you don't want to take the second pick oh, for the I lines. Like reflections? Yeah, close your eyes. Okay. Because you can see. Uh, I'm going to go with number one because I am number one. And I don't want number one. Yeah, no, you're screwed. I just put up two. Put up two. Well, you just took it down. I'll never know. I mean, I guess I could look on the uh, YouTube studio. He changed it. I knew he changed it. Look, Alex here is telling. No, stop it. Stop it's not. It. All right. So uh, you said you're picking. There we go. The proof. All right. Let's get into this, man. Enough of this. 4K. People are here for a mock draft. No, they aren't. Um, here for let's do this. So are you going to be? Is it? Who, who, uh, I'll go first. You'll go so, first. Okay. Yeah. I, we don't need to talk about this. Aiden Hutchinson. Yeah, it's just okay. Uh, I I love Aiden. Dude, oh, so the NFL has like their videos coming out on like breaking down the top prospects of the draft, right? So they put a bunch of tape in there, and I just watched their Aiden Hutchinson quick little highlight reel, and I was like, oh man, I fell back in love. I do kind of think we're selling Aiden a bit short about saying he doesn't have a high ceiling. Yeah, like like the the dude's a monster, man. I'm just saying. Yeah, I just had to move you real quick so I can make oh. the Aiden Hutchinson pick, but it's all good. All right, uh, so, again, if y'all got questions, concerns, or comments, at Broshmo. That way it's highlighted. I can address it. Uh, okay. for, for me, all intents and purposes, this is KT. Yeah. I think it's pretty easy for me to make this pick. Uh, I'm a big KT fan. Some people might be worried about the other stuff, but I'm not. Again, you're taking a swing of the bat. I think Austin Gale recently, he said it best that that these draft picks should be used like this is house money. Like you mm. should be taking big gambles. Absolutely. You know? So I like I, I like it. that. I like that. Okay, so You're I'm on the board next. at three. Yes. I man, is it just I, I hate doing just solely what I would do because it just kind of sucks in general. Yeah. I, I just don't like doing that. Because if it were solely me, I would just probably try to take Sauce Gardner here because I do think he'll probably be a cornerstone for 20 years. But I'm also an offensive line dude. So we'll just go the standard route, Evan Neal. Keep it keep it easy. Keep it simple. Graded out as my number two player at an 88.25 at 100. Yeah. Honestly, that's like my – oh, I didn't even have to move us for that. Uh, That's one of my favorite – like picks for the Texans. Absolutely. Because then I'm honing in on a receiver at pick. Well, I'm not even going to be making that pick, but. Well, <sighs> I mean, I'll say this. Uh, I think Evan Neal is easily the best pick for the Texans because if you're actually looking at a future right tackle, you at least know Evan Neal is comfortable playing at right tackle. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, so it makes uh, sense. Not Alex that I'm talking to right now, but Alex in the chat. It's uh, what we would do. No, no. I think predictive mock drafts are dead on my channel now after the last one. Which one did you do predictive? Was that Marcus? No, 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 no. Marcus it was one? Uh, what we would do, but... um. So you got Zion going like at first overall? It was... No, but it was just like... Uh, it, it was one I did, I think, on Friday. I can't remember. Okay. New York so. Jets. Okay, so obviously Icky Icky is an option here. I'm gonna talk this one out real quick. Okay. Uh, I do want to get receiver at ten. I don't know if that'll be That's an good. option with Atlanta coming up too. I kind of worry about that. Yeah. Uh, I have seen people take receiver at this position. It is a bit rich for me, but also like Garrett Wilson's in my top 10. Yeah, I think he's literally 10 on my big board. So it's like, Garrett Wilson is 10 on mine. Who yeah. bad. If I want to like, and I don't even, I'd rather try to trade up at that 10 pick than try mm -hmm. to trade down from this four. Cause I don't know exactly who's training up for what. I mean, the Seahawks, they got all that draft capital really to use for the future, the foreseeable future future there's why why start spending that draft capital to move up in the draft i would just be sitting back if i'm the seahawks uh, atlanta quite frankly needs their draft capital yeah 
And I feel like really four is too rich for any other team to make a big move up. So I feel like I ha I'd have to make the pick here. Mm. I've seen reports about Gardner, but that just doesn't seem like Salah's style. You know, Salah's... Yeah, the Niners are not usually the type to take a corner at four. Like that just, that style, they never have been, so... Yeah, they don't invest necessarily. They don't want to invest yeah. a lot of dra like uh, high end draft capital. Mm -hmm. I mean, they ju also just brought in one of Salah's boys in um, DJ Reed. So yeah, I think I am gonna go with the sticky icky. Oh, I I didn't even. I, I'm gonna be honest. I blanked out. I thought you were talking about uh, Garrett Wilson there. So I'll say this: like for the future, maybe we should put a two minute timer on the first round and then a one minute on the second, just like to totally fire it off. You know what I mean? I don't know. Sure. Fun idea. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know, man. Because I, I do, I do like the idea of like talking these picks through, and out. absolutely that way, that, you know, people kind of get the mindset of where where I'm coming from and the turmoil I'm going through. Yeah. Um. So I'm gonna go with Charles Cross here. I mean, for the Giants, it just makes you, total you sense. Have you have to. You have to. There's. You're forced to play that hand at this point. Yeah. Yep. But. So if you're at number six, the main if, man, shout it out, my boy Gojo. Oh uh, yeah, no, I'm I'm yeah. totally I'm screaming. Hey, does anyone want to trade back? Yeah, now um, the top top tackles are off the board. You so know? what? Yeah, since you're controlling the odd, or you know, I'm controlling the odd, and you're controlling. Let, the let's just straight up open this up to any team. Okay, let's just talk it through. <laughs> um, Philadelphia you, Eagles. You think Philly would be interested trading up? Fuck yeah. Yeah, I mean, dude, think about it. Um, Philly has their future draft capital already, and I'm going to be blatantly honest here. I think they have the pieces to make a run. I do. If you get if you hit on these few pieces, their offensive line, solid enough. Their quarterback, honestly, he's improved every single year for six years. Uh, running backs, they're so running backs. you're going to chuck both first-round picks to go after no. a corner here? No, dude. Um. Pick 15, a second and a third is as valuable to number six. And it's um it's worth it in terms of point wise, as well as the fact that Carolina doesn't have a second and a third. So, I mean, All even right. Marcus told me that that would be a quality deal for the Panthers to take. Cause then they'd be back at 15, be able to select somebody like, um, wait, who I, I keep forgetting. I keep bugging on the quarterback's name. Can he pick it? Yeah. And then they, also we know Pickett's not going to go high in our draft. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, at least if you could, if you want to trade back, get like someone like Sam Howell, Kenny Pickett, you at least have justification to do so. You know what I mean? All the tackles are off the board. And then at that point, it's like, okay, it makes sense. And you get your second and third round pick. Okay. Okay. That could be interesting for the Eagles. What about the Jets in this scenario? Do they, mm -hmm. do you think they maybe toss their hat in the ring? Cause they've been desperate. They've been shown they're, they're trying to throw capital, try to get a receiver. Wilson's yeah. kind of like kind of a good fit for them. If and it's it a lot be the price. less draft capital. I imagine. Hold on, let the me third? Go look at uh what the Jets got to offer. Like it would probably be a third round pick at that point. Which I mean, I can understand that, but if I like, if you want to think about the Carolina Panthers, who are you taking at ten that you wouldn't take at fifth or that you couldn't get at fifteen? Because you can get that extra second round pick. You know what I mean? Wait, what? <laughs> so, like, I'm saying, like, who would you take at 10 for the Panthers? Like, a quarterback, probably, right? Because there's no tackle available. Yeah, but and if then, I could maybe pick up some day two picks, it's much necessary. Oh, right? yeah, but I'm saying that the Eagles can offer that extra second. It'll cost you about a third to go up from 10 to 6, if I'm not mistaken. I, that's about yeah, that value. I want to look at draft history, look at trades inside the top 10 trades. Within the top 10, because I always like to back it with some historical data, because I know like the draft value chart typically, you know, teams just have their different trade value. And I don't know. Dude, remember, uh, what's up, Jay? Jay the GOAT 13. Um, remember when Adam Anderson was a top 10 dude on my board? That hurts. That really hurts, dude. I kind of mentioned Someone him in today's in video. Oh, really? It just yeah because man. uh like I was talking about Jeremiah Moon and I think Jeremiah Moon he's he's a bit heavier, which is nice. Mm. You don't have to worry about because Adam Anderson at, tested I'm out at stinking uh two thirty. Mm. So like uh, 
if you don't want the baggage that comes with Adam Anderson, because obviously it's not resolved, but I don't think uh, Moon's a bad alternative. And I was kind of talking about day three sleepers. Trades yeah. in the So Mizzou22 asked if Christian Watson is really a first-round talent because he seems like another MBS. I don't I think he hit it straight round. on the head. Yeah. yeah, he hit it straight on the head. Like, no, it's MBS. Oh, yeah. Spoiler <laughs> like, alert, that's going to probably be my comp for, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for him. <laughs> I think that it's the easiest comp ever. It's a deep threat at six foot five who drops the ball. Like, <laughs> tell, tell me it's not MBS. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, it's all right for it, the Dolphins to move up. Or... Oh, what? The, no, you mean no, the Jets? <laughs> no, no, no. Like, historically, the Dolphins, oh. when they traded to Pick get 12. back up to get. Uh, Wadler. It took. It cost essentially a first that year and a first the following year. Yeah, it's from pick twelve to pick six, but yeah. that was supposed to be projected late first. Um, is it uh, good? I, dude, I don't think that. Who would the Jets like? The Jets would be moving up for Gary Wilson, right? Yes. Okay, that's fine. The whole plans to jump the Falcons. I don't think the Falcons will take Garrett Wilson. Man, they have so many holes. I'm picking like, the Falcons, and I'm telling you right now, oh, I'm taking right. Darren Wilson. I was going to offer a trade to move up to eight, but that's all right. I mean, Ooh, Vincent Jackson's an interesting one, Hazelnut. Vincent Jackson for uh, uh, as Watson. Uh, I don't think Vincent had four three eight or four three six speed. I don't though. think so either. But, but I'd I, have to look it. I up. love Vincent. Got to show him some love. Um, so who are you trading up for? For the Eagles, the Eagles would be going Sauce Gardner all all day. Yeah, it's that one of the few holes they have left. Or Kyle Hamilton, but like I'm just gonna say straight up, I think Sauce Gardner is almost a final piece. You got four edge rushers, a really stacked interior defensive line, linebackers, or you know, it's never been their cup of tea, anyways. And then they have a good enough safety core at this point, and then you have Sauce as well as Slay. That's a championship defense in my eyes, and I think the offense is fine enough. Oh, it doesn't even tell me the interest in this. Oh, it'd be nice if there was a... Well, I mean, I did it... Okay, so I'll do it... Yeah, I mean, I can force it through regardless, so it doesn't really matter. But Yeah, I mean, I'll pull it through on TDN just so you can hear the... Like, what they would do. So it'd be 15 to 51, 83 for pick six. And it says very likely anyways. 15? Yeah, 15, 51, 83. First, second, and a third. Man, that is a lot to go up and get a corner, man. They have future firsts, though, so they're perfectly fine. And, dude, I think Sauce is... Oh, uh, like 20 minutes. It's like an encapsulation of everything that you'd ever need for the Philadelphia Eagles. Yeah. Just straight okay. up. If it's not going to be Garrett Wilson at six, it's going to be Sauce, and I do think Sauce is that final piece. Man, I'm... Wow, Vincent Jackson ran a four five one at two hundred forty one pounds. That is actually ridiculous. That is pretty darn sudden. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I really think the Jets. Uh, I really think the Jet Jets might be a bit more likely. I mean, go for it, man. You okay with that? I, I'm. It's your mo- I mean, it's your picks. I mean, they they are my picks. Yeah, they're, they're your picks. I think that. I think you can make whatever trade you want with your picks. And if it starts conflicting with somebody else, that's when, like, if it's someone else's pick, then it makes sense to to ask them. So you do you, man. All right. So what we're feeling here is 10. I think I'm going to go 38. Mm-hmm. Uh, this would be funny if I gave one, uh, 111 back because oh, actually these are all both the original Carolina, the Sam Darnold stuff. Yeah, the Sam Darnold ones. Is like here you go. All right, all right. So it's a second and a fourth. Do you think that sounds fair? I mean, it's a few spots. I think that's, that's, that's about a high right. second. That's a high second. So yeah, it makes sense. It's about right. Yeah. All right, we're gonna force that through, and we're just gonna. It says um, very likely, even without that fourth round pick, anyways. So you're gonna be going with Garrett Wilson here. I am gonna go Garrett Wilson here. All right. So at pick seven. Um, I'm actually feeling pretty nice right here. 
with everything I'd ever want. I'm going to go sauce. Again, I feel like it's a Wink Martindale thing to do. You need to get a man corner to be able to hold yeah. up under pressure. Even if you have Garrett Bradbury, honestly, I don't care just because I think sauce one is going to be cheap compared to that. But two, I mean, that guy's just going to be a freaking baller. I love sauce. So yeah. I mean, the only way you can make this Giants draft better, in my opinion. <laughs> They're like, well, Panthers had 15 minutes on the clock. Like, it's a real draft. Hey, dude. Hey. Oh. <laughs> It'd be tough. It'd be I love tough. that. I love that. Um, now, the only way the Giants draft could honestly get better is if, like, Icky or Evan Neal were there at five, in my opinion. Uh, okay. There's not much you can do better. So you were mentioning, you were talking about a potential trade back here. Yeah, but I do not own that pick. Doesn't matter. Let's talk it out. Um, Steelers. So it's you're just, talking it, about Steelers coming up for Malik? Yeah, just a 1-1. One, one. Well, it, it would cost more than a 1-1, one, one, I think. Um, like a 1-1-3. One, one, because it cost a 1-1-4 one, one, to move up from 17. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to lie. I feel like the Steelers... I'm not gonna if lie, that, if he's there at 8. This class. I don't know who it is, but I feel like they're in on a quarterback. Yeah. I mean, it, it's totally up to you on that one. Again, that's your territory. No, um, yeah, no, I don't mind. Like, now that yeah. Garrett Wilson's off the board, I'd rather Ooh. take extra picks. You want to know a pretty spicy potential move up here that I've never done ever? Yes. Ravens move up for Trevon Walker. Probably not, like, likely, but it's just a fun idea to throw out there. Like, it's like might as well test the waters out on that one. All right, we're going to move Pittsburgh up here then. Yeah, it makes sense. But yeah, what do yeah. you think about potentially the Ravens trying to move up to select Trevon? Ah. Ooh, what was that noise? Uh, that that was my... Uh, how I feel about it. I'm not in love with it. I feel like they could sit pretty at their picks. I mean, if yeah. they're... Hey, dude, if they're they absolutely like head over heels for walker then yeah you do you boo you know yeah hey that's my phrase <laughs> hey what'd you um what'd you give a one three one a one three one but i'd made the third this year yeah yeah that i'm i'm making it right now as well and they accepted the offer so yeah malik's number eight yeah so you then you're up here okay with the seahawks it's really down to trevon as well as Derek stingley because i think both of them are absolute ballers I am actually going to, I mean, you can't go wrong with either selection, but I do know the edge class is just so damn deep and the corner class is kind of cheeks. So I'm going to go with Derek Stingley here. Oh, wow. Yeah. We're going to go Derek Stingley. That's interesting. going to see him fall. Um, hey, I'm the Eagles. I'm calling right now for pick 10. <laughs> Who are you going to get? <laughs> Um, Trevon Walker or Kyle Hamilton. I'm going to actually try to steal Kyle Hamilton away Dude, from Walker. man, I don't think Panthers are going to be moving this much, though. Well, when was this a predictive mock draft? You're right. Okay, you're right. You're not wrong. Ah, all right, all right, there all we right, go. All right, let, uh -huh. me know, let me know what do you want then. Um, I am, I'm checking the pick value right now or, like, just the trade value on TDN because I'm not in the mood to do it. You know, Excel and I love sheet. this. I love that I... I ended up declining your first, like, no, I don't think the Eagles are going to trade up that far. Let's do it with the Jets. I, I think the Jets would want to do it. Yeah, it's like, I was like, what the hell? Like, this is, and, uh, well, now, and now we're back. Like, dude, we're just, I'm just racking up trade capital right now. <laughs> it's Carolina. Um, I'll offer pick 83. It's um, it's a third round pick to move up. It's just very likely on TDN, but um, it gives you that third round pick that the uh, that the Panthers do you not said have. said 83? Mm-hmm. Round three. That's their early third round pick compared to 101. Yeah, that, I think that's fine. Because then it, this gives me 38, 83. Like my draft, honestly, oh, yeah. it looks a lot better now for. Yeah, it's a lot more balanced. And I'm Panthers. moving up to. And now it's like whether it's Kyle Hamilton or Travon. That's a real issue because you can't go wrong with either one of them. I'm actually going to go Kyle Hamilton, though. Yeah, no, I think, I think Hamilton's a good pick. Dang it, dude. I got to keep always moving our freaking heads. I know that was the one issue I had with the TDN mock simulator. Um, again, once we like for the people in the chat, once we actually have a graphic overlay, like they do over at NFL stock exchange, 
whole entire basis of this. Um, it'll just be so much more fluid with the T- with the PFF mock draft simulator. Hey, yo, so technically, this is you again. Right. I trade it right. Back. So, yeah, you can take pick 15, by the way. Um, so for this one, now that... Yeah, yeah, I'll just, I'll just hold on to Carolina this this time around. Yeah, yeah you'll, you'll hold on to Carolina. Um, I think Drake London... I, dude, I hate when people go off on me for loving Drake London. I swear to God. Hey, like, dude, pro day, four more days. I know. We'll see. Yeah, so we'll see if I get bit in the so straight you, here. What about Olave? Uh, I definitely... Okay, I'll, I'll put it this way. If they are saying, screw it, we're not going to get a tall wide receiver, which has been historically Wentz's favorite target, then I love how they can use Chris Olave as another separator. I'll just say this. You're pretty much giving the middle finger to Deami Brown in terms of developing into a better separator. Um, so I'd much rather get a more well-rounded receiving core with Drake, as well as I, I love Drake after the catch. So, I mean, he's my number 11 dude on my board. So for people who don't like him, you can put whoever's number 11 on your board there, but I just think the value is freaking. <laughs> you don't like my pick. Then just insert what your favorite pick is here. I mean, that's what you just got to do. This is, I mean, I'm not taking into other people's opinions into account here. This oh, is here what, is. this is like our, our mock draft. And I think that Drake this London's a stud. Baby. <laughs> you think he's good too, right? Like, is he yeah. your wide receiver too? Uh, three. Who do you have above him? uh i'm huge on jameson williams oh really i love okay well i love that's fair that's fair uh Uh, jameson's a beast i'm gonna do something real quick what you gonna do uh i'm gonna yeah i put in a lot of work dude (laughs) i know I know. Yeah. And I, mine. It gets a little bit crazy. Yeah. And I just want to make sure since we're picking here, because yeah. my top guy, uh, because for the Vikings, yeah. I'm not going to lie. For me, it might be Trent McDuffie. Oh, why? That doesn't even fit, dude. What do you mean? Why do people fit? keep liking that? Well, dude, he's a small corner in a man to man scheme. It makes no sense. I'm just going to be straight up with you. Like, I don't get the actual logic of taking him for that. Like, it's one of the few schemes, like, like the Ravens, that I, I don't understand that at all. I like his versatility as, like, you could play him safety or slot, and he could kind of be, like, because, I mean, look at where teams are starting to put their most valuable corners. With Jair Alexander, he's, well, I know he was hurt, but he was man in the slot. You have uh, Jalen Ramsey, man in they the slot. They already have someone in the slot. No, don't they, they have don't, the don't they the don't. Mississippi State kid? I thought he played a little bit of slot ball. Uh, uh, Cameron Dancer? No, nah, he's going to be playing the outside. With uh, they brought so in gonna... Chadon Sullivan, the former okay. Green Bay guy to play the Yeah. Side. All so, right. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, then what else are we doing here with this pick? Jordan like, Davis. Hell, you could go Travon Walker if you want. Just have him in that rotation. Travon's still on the board. I mean, hell. I might be the Eagles calling up again. <laughs> like, shit. Jeez. At this point, you oh, might as well, God. right? What about the Ravens? You know what? Hold on. I'll, I got an idea here. Something dawned on me. Okay. I want to do something different. How about this? What do you want to do? I'm doing. I'm going Jameson Williams. I want perimeter weapons for days. Whether that's at, on defense or on offense. You give me Thielen. You give me Jefferson. You give me Jameson Williams. All right. Well, at 13, I'm taking Drew Vaughn. I don't think I need to explain myself. Oh, wow. Yeah. I mean, so what? If he busts out, you're not getting much worse, right? At least you're taking a shot and getting a legit monstrosity. So Yeah, that's true. I mean, you're not going to – I mean, you'll be competitive in games. You're not contending next year. It's probably You the got the next two pick, – three picks. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I could do the uh Ravens here. Uh well go. corner's not an option. Uh you gotta go edge, right? I mean Jermaine Johnson is like, oh, that's so sexy. They just brought back so uh, Calias Campbell too. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I guess mm-hmm. guess Jermaine has to be it. I love it. No, I think he's the best day one edge. Like that's not in the top, like best non 
number one overall potential dude. Yeah. All right. To be honest. So mm, I'm going to take care of – actually uh... – I mean, what are you gonna do for him? I was just gonna take. I was gonna take Sam Howell. Then do it. It's your mock draft, man. It is. Well, it's our mock draft. Uh, I'm saying it's it's your pick into what you would do mock draft to do what you want to do. My number 19 overall player still available for you. So He's bet a I'm a, I love. Yeah, I love PFF. Why they have? A, oh yeah, they have in their top 20 as well. I, lo- I love this guy's name too. Right, atheist for the cause. What cause? If you an atheist, then there's no purpose. Oh, shit. <laughs> no need. Oh, my God. No need to go straight theology or cosmology. Yeah, I know, or right? Fuck. Don't mess with me at theology and philosophy, dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> so my girlfriend got me this Pez dispenser, right? I haven't had yeah. Pez in, like, 12 years. And, like, high key, it's, like, the cutest thing ever. All right. But it's so annoying oh, to load this shit. Straight so uh, <laughs> whenever I think about, like... <laughs> Like philosophy, there's this Family Guy skit where he talks about like, oh, my great great grandpa was a philosopher, and it goes back to like this is just Peter and like gray hair and uh, like a mustache, and yeah. L- Lois is just cleaning dishes. She's like, hey Peter, will you take out the garbage? And he's just like, why? <laughs> great philosopher. All right, let's talk Ooh. about this Saints pick. Love it. So yeah, you want Sam Howell, right? Yeah, hey, I love you too, Atheist. I just love joking around. <laughs> okay, this pick. All I'm right. Intriguing. Yeah, because uh I mean I You gotta go Chris Alabe, right? That's what Come I on. that was the name I was gonna bring up. What about tackle? Um you could if you don't trust the Chargers, you really could go um Trevor Penn in here. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, you're going to be picking for the Chargers so we could get this thing back in order again. I'm going to be straight up honest. I have no idea who I'm picking for the Chargers. <laughs> for me, I think Zero it, for the Chargers, it comes down to uh, McDuffie, Jordan Davis. And I know you hate McDuffie, so it doesn't even matter. Uh, Jordan Davis oh. and then Trevor Pennant. I think those are the two options. Or three. I yeah, don't I hate like him. Two. No, I you hate just, him. It's all right. It's I'm all not, right I'm to not, not a... like a guy, bro. Yeah, I don't hate him. I'm just not as high on him as everybody else, which is okay. Because I was right about the Washington Corners being ballers last year. So I'll be right about them sucking this year. Who was it? Elijah Moore? Who was the other guy last year? Elijah Molden. Moore Molden. was from Ole Miss. Oh, um, and Miss, yeah. Keith Taylor Jr. So speaking of the Panthers, okay. <laughs> I love Keith Taylor. Dude, that guy's been a, he's been pretty damn solid. Okay. Especially for like a fifth or sixth round pick. He's done a great job. Okay. We'll see more of him. So, him right so what are you going to do here then? What do you mean? Did you draft? This is, yeah, I took Sam Howe for the yeah. Panthers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You want me to take this? Dude, you have evens. Okay, okay. I, yeah, I, 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 I just felt you, like, bad taking like the la- last three picks. Well, uh, yeah, I'm, a, I'm just going to try to big brain it and yep. uh, hope Olavi's there at 19, and I'm going to go ahead and get Trevor Pennant because Logical. outside of that, it's Bernard Ryman, you know? Yeah. Um, I'll say this. I had picks 9 through 11, so it's okay for you to have 14 through 16. I'm sorry. My daughter made a mad dash to uh, my Oh, daughter. damn. She was, she was going. She was trying to cut the jugular, my guy. You want to lock my door? <laughs> yeah i know I mean, she was like she doesn't like the uh, trevor pennant pick as i could see <laughs> yes i can see that um yeah i'm gonna go trevor dude. pennant yeah i want to risk it uh-huh dude for this pick dude jordan davis is still on the freaking board man oh my god he's not obviously gonna go here okay tyler linderbaum came in at 306 by the way he's put on more weight recently tested- yeah today was his pro day Oh, um, so I, I didn't even guy. look at that, dude. I've been. What are the odds he can play guard then? Because he's over. He's almost like three ten. I'd and... still rather him at center, but. Well, I'm talking about him here to the Chargers. Hey man, um, go with your heart. I love Linderbaum. I know. Do I? Trust I'm gonna go Olave though. I'm gonna go Olave. You need to get that like pure deep threat. 
I don't really trust Jalen Guyton to be this. They also got Mike Williams. Line. Yeah. Well, Mike Williams is not a super deep threat. He's a big target. Chris Olave also is a successor plan for what you get. How are you going to do that crap to me? I didn't even mean to do that to you. I'm going to be straight up. <laughs> I was just like, I was thinking, I was like, dude, there's a bunch of different options here. And I wanted to pull maybe a quickie with Tyler Linderbaum, but nah. So you're going Olave. Yeah, I want Olave. Okay. Not to come back at you. Just no, no, to... no. I get it. By the way, you don't even have to pick at 19. I don't know why you're saying like, oh, for my Saints. Like, oh, you're right. You're right. You're not wrong. I, f- I screwed myself over, man. So at 18, do the Eagles right and get them a unique player. Trent McDuffie. Oh, no. Come on, dude. Dude, he's such a he's a good scheme oh, fit here. Oh, God. What's their quarterback two spot right now? Who cares? There's Jordan freaking Davis on the board. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. He's going to be stuck in this rotation of what? Fletcher Cox. Uh, Trent McDuffie's going to get hard hosted. Hard Tre- okay, what, what else do they have there? Tay Gowan. Another guy who will get toasted. Zach McPherson. It's a beast. I said you go Trent McDuffie, man. He's a good scheme fit. Why didn't you at least try to trade back then? You know I wouldn't take him. (laughs) Who would you take him for? Of all these teams. All right, we'll do the Daniel Jones As he starts to fall, I I best believe I might jump on him. Uh, I guess if I'm doing the evens, I'm not going to lie. I might go like with. Might do it at the Cowboys. That's weird because all these even teams, they're You're not the that suspect. Yeah, are you, yeah. Are you kidding? Do you think they? Do you think they? Their secondary can't get better. <laughs> I don't think it would get better with a guy who's sub six foot with little alligator arms, dude. Who's zone specific? Okay, but straight up, Trevon Diggs. Okay. I don't think you want that guy on man-to-man man, man, man quite a bit. <laughs> and honestly, that's kind of definitely. more in, in Dan Dan Quinn, right? That's the mm-hmm. – yeah, that's more in his wheelhouse. So, that's going back to his Atlanta and his Seattle roots, going more cover So three. what corners did he have over there in Atlanta and Seattle? Didn't he create the Legion of Boom with man-to-man corner Richard Sherman? Well, he, he started doing cover three a little bit. but Which, after about 10 yards, is man-to-man, so – Fair point, which is even worse for Trent McDuffie. Regardless, I'm still on the board at 19. And oh, wait, yeah, yeah, I guess I'll go uh, McDuffie. <laughs> okay, yeah. I didn't make the actual pick just yet. Oh, well, I'm gonna be honest. I keep I'm looking at this just to be able to analyze my board and give you like up to up, uh, <laughs> up to up, up to date like figures and stuff on terms of like seeing if it likes a trade or not. But um, at 19, shoot, um. I mean, wide receiver is still definitely on the table here I mean, for me. You got Burks. Dude, I'm going to – I hate this pick, but honestly, given the ability – like his ability is so unique that you what can't I'm find trying. it anywhere else in the draft. Yeah. And then there also will be dudes in round two for this position that I I can honestly pass on wide receiver to get a wide receiver two. I'm going to go with Jordan Davis out of Georgia. That's fine. You might, you, you might as well go after a freak talent, man. I mean, worst case scenario, you're taking two freaks in Trevor Penning and Jordan Davis. Yeah. At least Jordan Davis is I had a bit better on field production. We're probably going to be talking about um, the Saints traded up somewhere in round two mm-hmm. to like jump on the receivers. All right, all right, all right, all right. So we got Wyatt here. We have Linderbaum. We have well, actually we knocked out a couple of my Dude, <laughs> my buddy just said bro show that hat ain't fooling anyone. <laughs> what do you mean? He's watching the live stream. He's like that hat ain't fooling anybody. Fooling what? <laughs> He's talking about malicious I locks. I don't think your coattail hair right there is not is gonna be. It actually comes with the hat. I put the hat on. It, they, I take it off. It goes with it. Oh my god. Uh, Karloftis is available here too. Yeah. Mm, there's Ryman, there's Zion. I mean, Dude. honestly, it feels like this is Traylon Burks. Yeah. Kyer Elam's a thought, too. I mean, you could also say Booth. Reunite and Booth and uh, Terrell. Yeah. What about, I would just say Karloftis. But that's because you and I are both higher on Karloftis. Yeah. 
that's why I was thinking, I was like, damn, like, honestly, you could even take Carl Loftus to the Eagles and just say, you know, screw Josh Sweat and BG and Derek Barnett. But, I mean, honestly, that's where I personally would go. Yeah, it's your pick, but you also haven't had a wide receiver taken yet. You have Traylon Burks. So, yeah, you do, you do. Yeah, yeah. And wouldn't Kyrie Elam be a little bit more of a scheme fit than Booth? Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not, no, you're not wrong. It's just the problem we have. To be fair, Booth played in a zone heavy scheme. Yeah. So it's like we're, we get, it's a limited glimpse of what he can do man to man. And honestly, he looks really good, like mirroring up guys. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, I mean, I think he could do man to man. I don't think that. Except Zay Flowers. You can't do shit against him. Did you watch that game? It was horrible. Zay- Dude, you could go the look BC at uh, versus the Clemson game. It was the NC State game. Uh, Mika Mezzi, I think. Yeah. Like Did, if, against more physical receivers, which obviously Zay Flowers isn't. Yeah. I noticed Booth kind of getting uh getting handled. Yeah, I think I'll probably go with Burks here. Now, you, I mean, with him and Kyle Pitts, it's like that physicality is gonna be nuts. I don't mind it. And then if you end up tanking and getting um getting Bryce Young. At least you have a quarterback that can chuck it really deep, too. Yeah. All right. Patriots. All right. Patriots time. Uh, I'm going Kyra Elam. There's literally nobody in that DB core that I'm really satisfied with that can play man-to-man. And I love Kyra. I don't even care who else is on the board. They even check. You get your BPA. All right. All right. So this is actually a terrible spot for uh, the Packers at this point. Why? Oh, well, yeah, the wide receivers. The top wide receivers off the board. So you're kind of like, at this point, it's like, ah, forget. Well, yeah, Carl Ops is an interesting thought. Um, I also think, and I know Patriots fan, or Patriots fan, Packer fans didn't like this, that in my predictive, I took Zion with the first one. Yeah. I think it's fair. I think I like that. Um, I like Carl Ops actually would be the BPA. Yeah, the better. Carlotis. But, I mean, you have to look at what's the next round. And is there going to be a good edge rusher there? Probably, right? Is there going to be a good guard? Unless Sean Ryan's there, yeah, which I'm controlling the Bears. Reach a receiver at 28. Yeah. You're going to be reaching regardless, dude. We took the guys who are like legitimately worth um, it. I'm actually going to, you know what? I'm going to, instead of Carlotis, I'm going to go with Devontae Wyatt. Okay. I'm gonna get a little more meat because Jaron Reed's a stopgap. Uh, you got Kenny Clark, and then there's Jaron Reed, yeah. but he's a stopgap. Yeah. So I'm sure you have Devonte Wyatt over Travis Jones, like I do, but I honestly I do like Travis would Jones. rather draft Travis Jones over Wyatt, which makes no sense. But I think that Travis Jones and Jordan Davis, the only two interior defensive linemen that could actually solidify their position on a team past their first contract. Yeah. I don't know. Like, Devontae Wyatt's just not unique enough. He's a pretty athletic, solid pass rusher from the inside. You don't find 328 pounds at 13% body fat that just straights up clubs a Clemson interior offensive lineman like that. And then Jordan's – I mean, we don't need to talk about Jordan Davis. But I'm just saying, Travis Jones is a beast. Who's someone who I might take here, but it's going to be Carl Loftus. I don't yeah. care. I don't care who else is on board. You go BPA. Cowgirl time. Uh, this Ooh, is actually this Zion. is this is Zion. Yeah, I yeah. think nine times out of ten of Zion's here. This is a Zion pick. Jerry Zion. Jones has said it himself. He wants to do something about the offensive line. Zion Johnson with left tackle experience as well as left guard experience. And guess what? He played a little center at the Senior Bowl. He gives you a little bit of everything. And guess what? That line needs a little bit of everything. By the way, I'm going Andrew Booth at the next pick. Yeah, no, that makes all the sense yeah. in the world. It's just like, it's, I love it. Dream fit. Oh, man. Tennessee Titans. This is a place I yeah. didn't want to be. Yep. This is exactly why I did not want to be there. Yeah. All right. Let's talk about tr- any trade possibilities. Well, um, actually, so PFF you got is offering Ooh, me. Ooh, okay. Sorry. Um, I want, oh, fuck. They're in the same division. I was about to say, I'm calling up hard with the Jaguars hard i will overpay for this for pick. a linebacker no tyler linderbaum 
Oh, said, oh, they they did. Yeah, I forgot that. Uh, Brand. Well, th- they like Tyler Shantley. Well, this is what I would do though. We know how much that we love. Which that Tyler player. Shantley could also play guard as well. So yes, he can. Um, I'm willing to pick. I'm willing to trade pick seventy, way overpay for this pick. And it is my pick after all. So, and right. hey, dude, we we saw last year with the Eagles and the uh, mm-hmm. Cowboys. Yep. I'm willing to pick. Are you willing to do that pick? Um, 70. So you're going to give 33. me 33 and 70. Mm-hmm. That's a 20 spot move up as well in the third round for the Titans. My gosh, that is a way overpay. That's huge overpay. Big overpay. But I'm willing to do it, man. When you get the value, I mean, at the end of the day, what would I be doing with that third round pick? Probably trying to get another interior offensive lineman. If I can sacrifice one of those dudes to move up and solidify my interior for 15 years, I'm doing it in a heartbeat. You look back at this, like, man, they gave up a third round pick to get their hall of fame center. I'm like, hell yeah, I am going to do that. Are you down? Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying, I'm looking at what I would like, what to like, even this out a little bit, like maybe, maybe like throw a fifth and Dude, right now I'm just like a throwing around on the TN, TDN mock draft uh, or like the trade simulator. I just threw in three future firsts, a second and a third for this pick, and they were like, nah, screw you. I'm like, okay. Yeah. Gotta All love right. that one. All right. Jacksonville has moved up. And they'll take Tyler Linderbaum. See, si, senor. You got um someone who... Uh, dropped a money. Oh yeah, 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 I was gonna get to it. Uh, appreciate it though. <laughs> I saw uh, it. I was like, dude, you like don't don't let me talk over it, man. Jagayo. I see. I'm really bad with names. I think this one's pretty Jaguio. tough though. Jaguayo. Okay. I really appreciate all the hard work and time you put into giving us great content. Keep it up. Will do. Appreciate the super chat, my friend. Oh. Uh. Also, Alex says mock drafters are just lazily pencil in booth at 25, but I think he's gone before that. Uh, if he was able to test, he wouldn't be yeah, that, underrated. That like quad that. entry, if I'm not mistaken, definitely hampered his ability um, to rise up the board. Yeah, but I think that's about the right area late first rounds where you're talking about booth. Well, I if again, this is my board, not yours. I would <laughs> Hazel. <laughs> Darn right, Hazel. I would think about him at 18 or Trent. He has better speed and size. And he's not going to be. You are on the board, by the way. Oh, I am? Oh, shit. My bad. Um, (laughs) You're good. I'm going to be honest. I'm thinking about Tyler Smith here. I'm thinking pretty hard about Tyler Smith. And I might be pulling that trigger. Like, honestly, if I was Tennessee, that would have been my pick. Yeah. So Tyler Smith. He would I'll be le- he would be left guard off the bat, right? Because isn't mm-hmm. Shaq Mason right guard? Yeah. Or is it vice versa? Shaq Mason. Shaq Mason's right guard. Because Karras was left guard, I think, last year. Regardless, no pun intended. Um, it's him or Travis Jones. And the opportunity cost of passing up on Travis Jones is you might be lucky to get to Marvin Leal, who shouldn't even be playing interior. If you pass on Tyler Smith, you could still get Ed Ingram or Thayer Munford later on who can actually play and not be a tomato can, as they say. So I'm going to go Travis Jones. Okay. I think, again, opportunity cost, it's there. Travis Jones could be – can you imagine him in Vita Vea? Like, and if anyone says he can only be a one tech, I'm not talking to you. Huh. I'm not talking to you ever again. All right, so – I like this pick. I made this pick in my pre- predictive. Mason was a right guard, by the way. He was? Okay. I thought so. I wasn't positive, yeah. though. Um. Anyway, I made this pick in my predictive. Mm-hmm. And I think mm-hmm. this might... Like, in all honesty, I don't think it's that bad. What's he want? Uh, I'm going to go George Pickens. Oh, okay. Like, I, I, like li- I kind of like the, the idea of the fit. Apparently... I like they're real high. They might be real high on them. At least that's what the rumors are. Mm. And I mean, dude, I like, honestly, George Pickens for a lot of people, he's either, I mean, 
for the most part, he's in everyone's top 10. Yeah. I mean, it's, it makes sense. Um, for the Chiefs here. No, I'm still looking for George Pickens. <laughs> okay, well, you conti- you continue looking at George Pickens. And, um, uh, yeah, you, me, you talk, I will... Uh... Like, the question is, I have a plan at wide receiver for the Chiefs, and it has nothing to do with this round, because I really don't think that they need to draft another first-round wide receiver. Yeah, I don't it think just, so either. It, it really doesn't make sense to me for them to have to invest that draft capital there. Corner would have been the ideal position. It's just not going to happen. There's nobody even close to worth it. Um, I should have traded up with this pick, to be honest with you. Like, the more I think about it, you should have moved up, maybe I mean, try to get you. Davis you legit have the arsenal to, yeah, to do yeah, you, so. You so have a not. shit. You have a boatload. Um, but looking at who's on the board here, like, when you think about it, is there any team that might just want to oh, – no, that, that doesn't make sense. I was about to say, we could just – have a team trade a future first to move into pick 29. Yeah. But why? <laughs> I mean, I was just thinking like, if you, you're not going to be signing 12 dudes, just going to be straight up. So at least maybe you can like push it down the road, similar to cap, but you know what? We're fine. We'll be a okay. I think I am going to go after an edge rusher here and David Ojabo out of Michigan, oh, wow. making sure that you have, I mean, you're playing, you're putting your cards down to have a better future. Yeah. I think this is the way to start it off. You uh, got a page at Chase says, uh, Perry on Winfrey and Devin Lloyd. Intriguing. Yeah. Fortunately you went, uh, <laughs> job. Yeah. So much for that. Sorry. <laughs> oh man, dude. I can't believe the linebackers. They just, it's so hard to decide where they go in this class. Oh yeah. No, the linebackers could easily fall out around one just because of how damn good the depth is. Yeah. It's like the gap between Christian Harris and a Kobe Dean is not nearly as much as probably a lot of people would suggest. Yeah, like straight up, this is a terrible spot if you're the Chiefs right now. What do you think about um, Dax Hill? Uh, they brought in, oh, who was it? Reed. Yeah, Justin Reed. Thornhill. They lost so like Legit, you would be drafting a slot corner at this point. You would be drafting him for what he was this past year. I mean, again, he's got the flexibility to do a lot of different things, but yeah. that what would be his role from day one right now. You want to go balls to the wall and draft Brees Hall at 30? No, no, no. Are you kidding? <laughs> I'd love that. I have Brees in my top 30. Uh, not top 30, but top 36. At number 36. So he's 30. Yeah, I was going to say, so he's 36. I was going to say 35. I was like, ah, I can't do that. Um, yeah, I think Sky Moore might be interesting here just because He's literally awesome. very similar to Juju, but Juju's also on the one-year deal. Yeah, that's fair. So MVS is on a three-year deal. Uh, McCall Hartman, I think, is a guy that they want long-term. So Sky Moore yeah. would be a little bit different than what they do have. I don't like the idea of going receiver here, though. But, I mean, you went David Ajabo, so I could I could live with that. So you're going Sky? I'm going to go Sky. Sky Moore, baby. Um, 31 with the Bengals. The reason the real reason I jumped up with the Jags is because I knew this would be the spot to draft them. Um Ooh, my question is how Darian, dude. Tariq Wolin at 31, that's too rich. That's too rich. Yeah, I I actually like the potential there if they had somebody ahead of him. Yeah. Just because, like, again, it's six four, four, two, six, like you're gonna be able to mold him, but yeah, it's it's really rich. For this pick, though, uh, there's just nobody who I really like. I really don't. Um, I'll just say this, though. I am pre- I might go Tyler Smith straight up, put him at left guard. I know you had Alex Kappa, Ted Cross there. Um, well, then, Cro- uh, I think Cross is going to be the center. Yeah. No, I'm saying, like, you have those two solidified. Quentin Spain's gone. And then, obviously, Jackson another, another guy. Huh? Like- Jackson Carmen, they're kind of like crossing their fingers. Yeah, Jackson Carmen never was really built to. He he was never built to succeed. He had short arms. He was a tackle, and then he just uh, got. What do you think about around. a linebacker here? Because I think Jermaine Pratt is a free agent after this season. I don't think and... so. I think that um, Pratt, Wilson, and then uh, David Davis Gaither are all on contract till twenty twenty four. Yeah, I'm gonna check. Yeah, because I no, remember cause, I was uh, looking for Pratt this. was the draft before those guys, I'm pretty sure. 
I know, but I saw, I was pretty sure that they at least had three linebackers on roster for a while. Um, someone saying Bernard Ryman. I can't do that one. Dude, I would love that one. I'm, I'm, I Why? like Bernard Ryman. But what, well, I, I mean, I'm saying like, because they have um, Lyle Collins and Jonah Williams. I, w- I would put him at my uh, left guard spot. Oh, okay. I was about to say, I was like, you're going to put him at left tackle over Jonah. Uh, I'm like, wow, that was. I, I really like him in, uh, is that honestly any outside zone blocking scheme? Tyler Smith would be terrible here. No. No, he would be pretty freaking awesome because he can actually become a left tackle in case of injury. Uh, yeah, 2022 is his last season under contract. 2022? Yeah, this season. Honestly, let's just go Kenyon Green because I do think that he's... <laughs> well, I mean, here's the thing. I think Tyler Smith is much more of a projection at left guard than Kenyon Green is. I like, I like Kenyon Green at left guard, and he can fill in at left tackle if need be. Tyler Smith's a little bit more of a project, and then I don't think this team's looking to develop a project right now. So you said Kenyon Green? Yeah. Like, the more I thought about it, I mean, that's – I don't really care about giving up on my opinion because, yeah. you know, my, my opinion means squat if the logic's able to out-rational it, out-rationalize it. So getting Kenyon Green there to play every down as a guard and then potentially a tackle – seems a lot more valuable than somebody who did not play four positions in the offensive line last year. All right. I'm taking to Kobe Dean. This one. Oh yeah. Oh, what? Really? Yeah. And he's yeah. My Why? linebacker three. Uh, I like to play, make it potential. That's kind of what I'm rolling with. If I'm so the, why not uh, Devin Lloyd? Cause they just got uh Foy Sadia Luican to play a similar, to play like that more of the light. Mic. You mean the Jags? Shit. I have Jags <laughs> on my screen right now um yeah it's no, still a good no, pick no. Uh, i was about to say um get devin lloyd to be the mic i mean no no i don't disagree with you i'm again i'm swinging for the fences with this one do you he hear him goes in the back yeah he's just like love me because <laughs> i guess missy's trying to put ari to sleep so he's just oh my god he's like, no, are you still on the board by the way uh you're still no it's you now no, it's not because you traded. I traded up with the Jags. This should be Tyler Smith. You talked about it earlier. Uh, BT Dubs. Uh, no, don't you have the odd? Yeah, but I traded up with the Jaguars, which is fine. Smith. You could just take this pick. I think we'd both go the same route here, Tyler. Tyler Smith. Smith? Okay. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> just take the pick. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, you're back with the Jags. Uh, oh fuck! I keep saying the Jags Smith. whenever I see the Lions. Oh man! Wow. It is a late night. What are the, really. well, what the heck? Dude. What Tyler mean, Smith. I guess I could just look it up. I, I think he's listed as an offensive tackle. He should be around like 60 something on their board. Which I respect. Oh, 73. Yeah, like I respect it. I understand the Tyler Smith hate. I do. Because he had 16 holding penalties and he was honestly kind of cheeks as a tackle. But you got to look at what he could be. Like, scouting's not who you are. It's what you will be at the next level. How's this draft chaotic, Alex? Not you. Yeah, pretty, My bad. It's this guy standard. says it's chaotic. I, I, don't see, I don't see the chaos in it. Have, you, have you watched the real draft live? <laughs> Alex Leatherwood went in the first. Yeah. Cleland Furl went number four. So, um, if I'm the Lions, okay. So, what? Crazier who, shit happens. What happened? Oh, KT, right? KT. Yeah, you went KT and Nakobe. Oh, and Nakobe. You want to go? You want to go safety here? I know that strong safety hole is nasty. And you know, it'd be funny though. Hmm. It. I would probably be going with Pitry. Really? For the slot. That's like that's so is Tracy Walker though. Tell me, he doesn't remind you a little bit of slot. Tracy. Nah, dude. I. I'm not gonna lie. Pitry reminds me a little bit of. Uh, Elijah Molden. Just bigger. You're going to draft that? 34? What do you mean draft that? He, okay, Elijah Molden, what, made it to like pick 100? Yeah. And was a stud for Tennessee last year. Because I would have taken him in the he's second. He's better than, okay. Uh, but we could talk through no. this a little bit. We could, we could but take But that a strong little... safety hole is just nasty, dude. It's gaping. Well, well, they brought back, okay, you said they brought back Walker. Yep. That's going to be their free. Yeah, I mean, honestly, Pitry's a guy that could play in the box. Oh, come on, man. Come on. 
Who are you yeah, putting here? Petrie's yeah. not even 200. Lewis Seen. I know a lot of people like Seen. I like Seen too. Or Brisker, if you like that too. Potentially. I think Petrie probably does fall. I'm trying to look at other I too. guys I might consider here, but I don't want to stray too far from my... Damon Arnett went in the first. Damn right. Yeah. <laughs> no, Elijah Mullen's a freaking stud. Yeah, let's Anybody quit talking about that? Raiders. Screw yeah. the draft up, right? <laughs> the thing is, I didn't even mean to cherry pick the Raiders right there. I just straight up said like the names of dudes who went crazily high. But that's a draft for you, man. Yeah. It I is. Mean, honestly, this does come down to scene or pitch tree for me. Yeah, I guess I'll go with scene. I got scene higher. Mm -hmm. I, I, I just Where do you have him overall? I really like pitch tree. Uh, 31. I'm at 32. Where do you have pitch tree? Uh, 30. Hold on. 39. I am at 51, but. Honestly, it's not a big discrepancy. Yeah. Uh, at this point with the Jets, edge rusher has been neglected. But who's – oh, man. I mean, we, we don't have that second uh, that second second round pick, do we? No, you oh. don't. Dude, Devin Lloyd's on the board. I'm taking Devin Lloyd. You got to get somebody else in that linebacker yeah, room. Yeah, no, linebacker I'm sorry for the pass rush. Very necessary. I'm sorry. But... That's a great fit, though. I think Salah would love Devin Lloyd. He's there gone by pick line. 36. Yeah. I'll say that. Your turn. Uh, New York Giants. Oh, I guess it might be time to draft a quarterback. What? It's a joke. Uh, Cross, Gardner. Uh, I guess linebacker. We could just keep going linebacker, really. Yeah. Um, Pass rush, actually, too. Boyle oh, yeah. Mafe uh, is a sense. little bit raw for his age. But I mean the so was a Dafe Owe. Who? A Dafe Owe. He was raw. How old was he coming into the league though? Um, I'm, I'm not saying like for his age. I'm saying coming out into the league, he was extremely raw. Yeah, but I, yeah, but he was. I mean, hey, I like Boye Mafe's uh, upside too. I think I'd much rather. I might just go with my guy here though, if I'm being honest. Who? Leo Chanel. Yeah. But uh, hold on, yeah. I think they might want. That so doesn't feel I, – I cannot Somewhat see Leo Chanel in a, lot, in a Giants uni. I swear. Yeah, for that defense, you might want someone a bit more explosive. Well, not explosive, I would, but like yeah. laterally. Yeah, I would say someone who's a little bit but better. But to be, that's the thing, though. He tested out that way. He just doesn't play exactly like that. But also he was kind of schemed in a way to protect him from that. What do you think about Jaquan Brisker since they lost Logan Ryan and – um? Well, so they peppers. lose uh, peppers. Uh, well, they have a guy okay. like Julian Love. They have Xavier McKinney. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, you could go even Jack Hill or Pitrier. Yeah, no, I think I'm gonna go with Chanel, man. Uh, he's oh. actually my yeah linebacker. I love him. So. I love him. I love him. It's just it's so weird to think of him on the Giants, man. But that's a okay. At pick 37, I would consider Brees Hall here. I'm not gonna do that. I just I really like Brees Hall. I think he's head and shoulders above everybody else in this class. Is like straight up the best running back. But I know that's a rare opinion. Don't really care. But I also know that they lost Justin Reed, and I think that a perfect replacement of Justin Reed is Daxton Hill. So that's where I'm going to be going. Okay. Uh, yeah. This one's easy for me. Yeah, you got to go tackle, right? Uh, I'm going to go Barr. Ryman. Yeah, Bernard Ryman. I think this is probably the spot he goes, like early second. Absolutely. I but, think pick 38, he doesn't fall past. Yeah, I, I really Jets. like him. Um, no, Douglas is going to do that for the Bears, though. Yeah, depending on what you do here, I might offer something up. For who? The Bears? No, not for the Bears. I'm just curious oh, for the, where you make yeah. it. Yeah, for the next one. Um, I'm not going to pull the trigger on Sean Ryan, no matter how much I love him. Just not going to happen yet. Wide receiver needs to be a thing. Jahan is a beast. I have him ranked 20. I also think that Christian Watson paired up with Justin Fields' deep arm is absolutely scary as shit. Yeah. You can't go wrong. The problem is you would not have an actual boundary threat if you got Jahan Dotson. Like, Jahan's just – you're not getting somebody to actually scare the shit out of me. Yeah. Like, I love Jahan. 
but you're not going to have a six foot five target be a true act. Like you're not having him be a true X, like a six foot five target could. Also though, who's that kid out of, there's like some like Northern Iowa kid or whatever who tests oh, out crazy. Uh, Isaiah Weston. He's going to be like Isaiah mid Weston. late day three. Honestly, okay. I'm gonna take a shot on him, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go best player available, Jahan Dotson. Other trucker. Mm-hmm. I love him. Yeah. I mean, hell, he I literally got him for almost double the value. How tall's uh Darnell Mooney? I don't know. So you but, have a bunch of five ten receivers. Listen, man, it worked out over in Kansas City. All right, so. I'd like to offer a trade for this pick 41 with the Saints because I was hoping what receivers. You... I... What about pick 40, dude? I'm going to I'm gonna make the – I make figure the, the Seahawks make the pick here. Why would they let – like, it, okay, in, in theory, why would the Seahawks let the Saints get in front of them rather than draft behind them? No, I'm okay. saying why are you making a trade for 40 when we have any – I just want to bring it up. I just want to bring it up right now. Okay, so – Oh, so Saints gotcha, gotcha. for 41. Because okay. I'm picking 41. I keep forgetting that. Yeah, okay. I understand that one. So feel free to pick your pick. Yeah. Who did you pick in the first round for the Seahawks? Stingley? Uh, Derek Stingley. Oh, yeah. You want to go Matt Corral here? No. No. I love Matt. Where is he on your board? Uh, I think he's 40. Okay. I have him at 33. Um, so, okay. This one minute timer is going off a thousand times per pick. Oh yeah. Right. Uh, again, if I am the Seahawks here, I'm taking potential. I'm taking swings of the bat, you know, and so you're going boy, Mafe. I'm going not boy, Mafe. That'd be pretty good. I'm going with uh, Drake Lund or Drake Jackson. I was like, hold up, what? <laughs> Drake London. Oh, I don't know how he made it here. <laughs> like, I was like, wait, what? Oh, yeah, he's Drake, he's really? two years younger than both uh, Arnold Ebiketti and Boye Mafe, and I think his upside's better than both those guys. All right. So that's kind of what I'm doing for the Seahawks. I'm betting. I'm I'm like drafted upside. Hmm. Okay. Um, so New Orleans here. Before you offer a trade, I'm trying to see potential suitors for this pick because they're actually. I'm trying to see who needs a tight end. Uh, right now PFF hat trade up for a tight end. There's only one tight end that is worth starting day <laughs> one. Uh, yeah. so uh, they have the teams interested in this pick 41 being Vikings the Commanders, Cowboys, and Saints. So, okay. Go for it. Shoot. Shoot your shot, boy. With the Saints? Um, what What do you want? I want Jahan Dotson. Jahan Dotson's off the board. I mean, uh, Christian <laughs> Watson. Sorry, I was thinking about my last Ooh, one. But no, Christian. it's because Dotson's off the board that, uh, yes. yeah, I'll take um, Watson here. He's literally going to be Traquan Smith, but hopefully an upgrade. Interesting. Um, I actually want to propose a different deal. Okay. I am thinking about trading up with the Philadelphia Eagle. Oh, wait, no, never mind. I forgot that I went um, after safety in the first. I was like, dude, Jaquan Brisker's on the board. I know the Vikings would be very intrigued. Never mind. Because I'm like, dude, I don't want Jaquan to continue falling past the Eagles. Shit. It, I mean, who else? Man. Okay, never mind. Uh, what, what, what are you trying to offer again? Uh, so Saints, they would give uh, the Seahawks 49 and then 120, while the Seahawks will get uh, – well, while the Seahawks will give away 141 and then 152. They don't even have 141. What? Uh, well, 41 I'm... and 152. So essentially the Saints are trained to move up eight spots – and then uh, the Seahawks, instead of having 152, they'll move up 32 spots. That's a that's a hefty cost for Seattle to move back. No, Their team's pretty desperate. Well, they're moving they're moving back eight spots, but they're turning a fifth round into a fourth round. It's a pretty shitty trade, if I'm going to be honest with you, my friend. No, if my I'm sitting there, if I'm likely. the Seahawks, if I'm the Seahawks, okay, and I'm okay. looking, I'm I'm going to look at last year's 
trade value for something. Similar. Well, I'm saying that other teams might be wanting to go after Christian Watson right now. Okay, and well, if, you, you shoot your shot, my friend. You tell me who. So, for one, I think the Bears should be intrigued to having actually Jahan and him. Going it's a hot take. Two receivers is a hot take. It is a hot take. But again, we this is not a predictive mock draft. So this is true. This is true. Big braining it. Um, also, the Patriots could want someone like that. Not going to do that. Um, but I definitely get the Saints. The Saints going after Christian Watson makes 100% sense. What if it's, I mean, what if you just do like a one or two pick trade? I'm actually going to propose a deal with Atlanta. Okay. Oh, wait. So no, this was wait, the yeah. Dolphins last year. They moved up eight spots from mm-hmm. 50 to 42, and it cost them a third, but it was a third in 2022. So that's, I feel I like would, that's along the same lines as turning a fifth into a fourth. You're not confused. You're not going to BS me with that one. Hold up. Are now. you kidding? You're literally. You're getting a third in next year's class, which you have no clue. Versus your versus a fourth in this up. year, which you've already done like a whole years of work. Okay, how about this? I'll just give you next year's third. Hell yeah! But I'm not giving you 152. Yeah, no, you won't. It's just gonna be you. You get 49 and next year's third. Who? Yes, I'm sending that in right now. I'm running right. that shit. Well, hold up now. Look at a trade chart at pick values and tell me how. I'm telling you an actual trade that happened last year. I'm telling you the difference between that trade and the trade you offered is exponential. I don't think so. I'm looking it up right now. Look at the trade value. We're looking at the trade value chart right now. Looking. So here. So what, what were you like? You were offering number 49, which is 410 points for pick 41, correct? Yes. So it's an 80 point difference. Cool. Then you're offering what, around four pick? I right? was offering 120. 120, which is 54 points. And then you were asking me to sacrifice 152. 152, which is 29. So that's a 30 point difference. So you're asking me to give up 80 points to get 30 back. So it's 50 point difference. 50 point negative. Negative. Versus a round three next year, which is approximately valued at 200 points. Which would then put you 120 positive. So the difference there is 100 and... Wait, so I end up the winner in both these scenarios? No, no. You become the big loser by giving a next year third. Because you just, you you ended up losing like 190 points or 170 points of value. Oh, F. You know what? Okay. Take Listen, my dude, third. I'm, I'm, for, I'm forcing the trade. Uh, yeah. Well, I accepted it. Yeah. Did you? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. The hell? Yeah. Oh, man. The next year third. Yeah. All right. Just give, yeah. Me, just give me Christian Watson. I want to move on with my life. Well, listen. Well, to be fair, I'll say this. <laughs> I didn't accept that first trade. So it's not like you lost out on it. I would have denied it and wanted more value anyways. So oh, in your defense, you greedy, greedy douche. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, okay. At 42. Oh, oh. man, this is going to suck. Um, corners on my mind. I'm going to go Kyler Gordon. That's you a good bit. Yeah. You gave rocks. Gus Bradley up. now. Yeah. And they brought yeah. in uh, Yannick. Yeah. They have yeah, Yannick uh, there. Who, who but, paid? Who's the guy they got last year? Who? Oh, Quiddy? Quiddy. Quiddy and then Dale Odeingbo. Oh, yeah. But he's going to be more. Um, He's a tweener. Yeah. But you said Kyler Gordon. Well, technically, you're the Falcons, but okay. Oh, I am? Yeah. I'm not. Am I? I'm even. You're wrong. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm sorry. I accidentally drafted for you then. You're not wrong, though. You're not wrong. I like the fit. Okay, and he screw. tested out great on his pro day. He did? Yeah. Oh, yeah, like the, the vert and stuff. Yeah, I, I do like that quite a bit. For this pick, I'm heavily considering Brian Asamoah. To me, he's a first rounder. And if you lose Foy Sadia Luikin, I think that's a pretty good fit. But um, you might want to you you know what? What did no. what did the oh they got Burks? Okay. I was like, what have the Falcons done? I'm gonna try to continue developing for the future. I might be looking at Boye Mafe here. Just a developmental edge rusher. 
because again, you don't need a day one impact, but his freaky athleticism is pretty top tier. I don't know how much. Mm, I, I might want to go to the Ritter. chat for this one. Desmond dude, Jacob Ritter. Blanco, Tyler Smith, is Desmond a first round. Ritter. And dude, I have a 61.25 grade on Desmond Ritter, and I said I was being generous to him. Um, You're AJ, a hater. I am a hater. You're a, You're a hater. hater too. Yeah, I am though. Um, okay, so the chat has not fully who took a Jabo? That would be the Chiefs, Chiefs. correct? Yeah, Chiefs. Yeah. Jabo was um, Yeah, so people are saying Mafe in the chat. Honestly, I think I that saw the value one is- Mafe in the chat. Okay, two. Yeah. Now I see Tanner uh, Hill Jr. Desmond Ritter. Listen, we're not taking a quarterback here. If we're going to take a quarterback, it's Matt Corral, and I'm not comfortable putting him here. Um, it's either going to be Brian Asamoah, Arnold Ebiketti, or Boy Mafe, and I want to do that tank. So we're going to go Brian Asamoah because he's going to need some time to develop in the league. You're getting the pieces to build. These guys will not be ready day one. Brian Asamoah is number 23 on my overall big board. The value is ridiculous. The hole is pretty wide. And you're not going to be winning anytime this year. So do yourself a favor and get yourself the pieces to bring in a quarterback like Bryce Young next year to actually compete. Again, this is my mock. This is my pick. So yeah. Um I might have went with Benito there. That's fair. I like Brian Asimo. Yeah. That's just that's that's my, you like Brian Asimo too. I like him too. Yeah. Um, all right. So Receiver kind of flew, flew, flew away. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I prefer him at back end of the second. No disrespect. Part of the third. No disrespect. About, I like him a lot. What about Arnold Ebiketti? Arnold, <laughs> my internet's unstable. Say what? That's nice. Love. Well, that. that's weird. I don't have drop frames or anything. I don't know why it brought that up. Oh, it was Zoom. That's probably that's probably why. yeah. So um, Zoom. What about Arnold? Come in and be the day one impact or Boye. Uh, they, okay. They brought in Chase Winovet. So yeah, that's not a bad idea. They do have yeah. Jacob Phillips, uh, who might be the heir apparent to Anthony Walker. Hmm. I see but, what you're talking. I was like, I don't think he's an edge. Yeah, no, no. Linebacker and edge are probably the two with quarterback or quarterback with uh wide receiver. Wide receiver off the board. Okay. Uh, damn, no lie, tight end would be a bad thought here. But I think they're gonna be content with the with the Joku and uh Bryant. Harrison Bryant was a my guy last year, dude. In the draft. There you go. Uh Epiketti, definitely pro ready. Uh, the linebacker I would be looking at here, if I w- were to go that way, would probably be probably be it's either Harris or Muma. So I'm gonna go with Ebiketti because he's higher than both those guys on the board. Going oh, Muma? No, I'm going with Ebiketti. Oh shit, my bad. Uh, I like that pick. That's that's my A one pick for him. Uh, for the Ravens. Yeah, they got uh Ooh. oh Jermaine. Yeah, they got Jermaine earlier. Um Jermaine I'm, Cole. Mm-hmm. What? Jay? Cole? You know R C uh what is it? R R C D World or whatever? R D C World, I think. I don't know. They, sure. they're, okay. they're 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 like a house of guys that make funny content. Yeah. They okay, got a funny so Jay Cole thing. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> I'm, try- I'm trying with you, man. I'm trying. It's all right. It's um, all right. For this, I'm going to look at Tariq Woolen as well as Alec Pierce. Two uh, small school dudes. They, uh, what? I, I would throw Pitry's name in there. Why? They just brought in Marcus Williams. You're playing Pitry in the slot. I'm not drafting a slot corner at 45. Dude, Unless it's a starting play. position. This is a guy that has a nose for the football. He made plays any and everywhere. He is the best player from that Baylor team. 
I'm going to wreak woolen. They this team has developed corner talent left, right, and center. They this guy love needs putting help. their guys on islands, and he's a guy you could throw on an island. This dude Same was thing wreaking. with Tariq Woolen at 6'4", 426. Oh, he's such a project. Yes, but this is a team that, one, we don't even know if they can even be number three in their own com- uh, their own division, let alone they, their own conference. And did, then Did they bring back Tavon Young? Uh, I don't believe so. I think he signed somewhere else. It might have been with the Bears, even. I saw that recently. Oh, yeah. That's weird. Yeah, so um, they don't have legit depth. We all know the injury situations have happened in recent memory. But it's yeah. RCDC world. Okay. I was about to say. Oh, that. I yeah, yeah. I was like, who the hell are you talking about? Wait, are you, uh, who are you? Who are they? What do you mean? Now you recognize it? I, I throw. I, I recognize missed. the name. I didn't know, like, there's, like, whatever the hell you talked about earlier man i literally forgot one letter all right so who are you taking you're taking um three Wolin. yeah wow. dude the upside is just ridiculous yeah no no i don't disagree with four, the upside. Four, and he fits their scheme man to man former wide receiver where do they have him right here all right minnesota vikings first round i did jameson williams you, you best believe i gotta go corner here uh, I guess this is a good fit for Roger McCreary. So you wouldn't want to go Jalen Pitre now? Oh, man. I at least want my guy to be capable of playing on the outside. Pitre doesn't have that. Roger McCreary at least did that throughout his whole collegiate career. Until he met Jahan Dodson and became just a dude on the field. When did he meet Jahan Dodson? They played Penn State this year. That's when I fell in love with Jahan because I was like, dude, I want to watch this one on one. Top corner versus top receiver. Did Penn, Jahan made him look Penn like State a played Auburn? Mm-hmm. Okay, touche. touche. Jahan made him look like a fool. I, I loved him. I don't I don't remember that. But yeah, no, so he did play. My question for you is this. How confident are you that Roger McCreary will be starting in two years? Oh, I think he starts right away at the slot. No, I'm saying like in two years outside? from now, oh, is he I, going I, to be replaced? No, I don't think he'll be replaced. I think he'll be. I think, I think he he'll probably end up better than Cameron Dantzler. And you know, I like Dantzler a lot. I'll be pulling the trigger hard for Jaquan Brisker. But that's a okay. Go for it. Jaquan. Oh yeah, no, I, I'm not going to go for safety here. I think corner is the more valuable position. Okay. It is the more valuable position. So are you going Roger? I'm going Roger. Uh, I'm very happy you did that because I'm going to go Jalen Pitry for the Washington Commanders. Just fair. Yeah, I'm. I'm rushing that card up. This pick. The Bears. Do them the right. Bears. Uh, yeah, I'm going Abraham Lucas. They just had Borum do really well there. Yeah, and they're moving him to right guard. Apparently, that really sucks. Yeah, I like Abraham Lucas, anyways. Um, this pick, I like him too. And I think that's a home run. If they get Dotson and Abraham Lucas, you're saying, Hey, Justin Fields, we care. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, I'm stuck between Matt Corral and Nicholas Petit Ferrer, as well as Sean Ryan. I know you would never draft Nicholas Petit Ferrer, but I have him as 53 on my board. I really do like him. Uh, no, I, I don't hate him. I'm saying like, I like him a lot more. Uh, how much more do you like him by? Um, 53. Oh, where do I have him? I think you're talking about him like 70s or 80s. 77. Okay. Yeah, you're right. You're fair. That's fair. Yeah. Um, for me, I think I might actually go after the most valuable <coughs> position on the field. I'm going to go after Matt Corral. Really? Really? Yeah. Really? Oh, come on. You have two first round picks next year. If he doesn't you're going to use that to trade one. up to get Bryce Young. You are not going to be able to trade up for Bryce Young. Because they're going to be picking first anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's if that's bad. the case, then you can trade Matt away. I mean, we've seen guys go. I mean, think about it. If Matt doesn't suck, it's not like he can. he's going to suck. It's like, yeah, you yeah, trade. Yeah, I get it. It's, a, it's a very sure. minimal investment. Yeah. Like, worst case scenario, do you think that, I mean, okay, what's a team? Let's just say the Panthers. Like, Sam Howell busts out, right? He absolutely is cheeks. And, like, everybody knows he's crap. Or some other team. Washington realizes, you know, Carson Wentz sucks. Would you not send a third for Matt Corral? It's like worst case scenario. 
you're getting a third for somebody who could potentially be a starter. Also, we are having a hard time finding like legit dudes who will be that riser of quarterback. Like we're seeing Will Levis, but I'm like Tyler Van Dyke train. It's like, there's not a guaranteed like legit stacked quarterback core next year. Yeah. You feel uh, me? Yeah. 62, 94. Ugh. We're not looking at the Chiefs like other picks. Also, Matt Crowell is a crazy arm for his yeah. size. And he can bring a new level of mobility. We already know Drew Locke's a bust. We just know. So, I think, I think, Chiefs, I think. Did I mention that I think? No. Uh, what are you no, thinking? Think, good, good. Uh, I want to... Nick Cross. I, I do love me Nick Cross, but I don't think safety is the the way to go. Go Brees Hall. Um, no, no. I was through CEH. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to decide, do I want Boye Mafe at least for this year? Since Ooh. Ojabe won't, and then you yeah. get your future edges since... I, they could probably do yep. something with Frank Clark's contract next year. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. But the also th- the next thought I have is Perion Winfrey. Cause that wouldn't have, be a bad move for the dude, team. Dude, next to Chris Jones, dude, that's freaking That'd be scary. pretty solid. Yeah, I like that. But what about corner? They don't even have Chidar. Yeah, Chibar- but the corners right? here, I mean, I, I feel like I'm kind of – Emerson I'm, can I'm fit. Reaching. Yeah, I'm reaching. You're reaching. I have him at 58, so – yeah, I guess you're not reaching. Yeah, I mean, he's not that far on my board either. See, the thing is, I have access to see wherever these guys are on your board, and I just don't look at it. <laughs> yeah, I have them at 60, so it's like... What? Oh, oh, get out. I'm reaching. Yeah, but at I'm the reaching. same time, it's like... You freaking took I got, Roger McCreary. I got, I got, about the I got Boye way higher. I got... Really? I, I do, I do. Where do you have him? I got him at 30. Wow. What? Really? Okay, I just took Boye Mafe. Okay. I mean, it's still fun. I like Boye Mafe to the team. I'm yeah. just surprised. 30. What about him do you like? We were talking about him earlier in the he season. I had a third round grade on I him. I think he became a lot more polished as the year went on. I thought... That's fair. I figure people... If you look at his... like People are always going to go to the Ohio State game, which he... He was still developing, man. He wasn't what he was. He wasn't the prospect we saw at the Senior Bowl. He wasn't the prospect we saw at the end of the year that he was at the beginning of the year, just quite frankly. Like, if you go to that Ohio State game, you're going to be severely disappointed. Yeah. I know the Eagles fans are going to absolutely hate this pick, but I really could not give a rat's ass. Excuse me. I could not give a rodent's butt cheeks about this Yeah, I mean, you already got Hamilton, so. Yeah. And wait, who else did I get? I got a corner. Oh, you got Trent McDuffie. Um, that's fine. Honestly, at the position that we are right now, it's not bad. I'm going to go Alec Pierce. You need a big bodied wide receiver. Sangi, there's your question. There's your, yeah, there's your answer. Those are the receivers on the board. Alec Pierce. Yep. That's the only receiver that's on the board. That's, I mean, I have him as my wide receiver five. The guy can separate very well for his size. He ran four, four, one speed, I think. And around six foot four. And I just love his ability to just go up and get it. Former basketball player as well. You know, he's probably, in my opinion, the most underrated player in the entire class. And that's me being a Tyler Smith fan. So. That is fair. Uh, this does allow me to get brisker. Mm-hmm. Which Dude, I love that. It's a, it's a no-brainer at this point of the draft to go. Zero-brainer. Yeah, I love that. So much. Um, Packers, did you already go offensive line? No, you went. You went defense. Uh, huh. Alex, you can't be – well, not you, Alex. Don't spam the chat, bro. You spam the chat, you get hit with the uh, timeout hammer. This is why I unsubscribe from Hail Mary Sports. <laughs> I don't need you. The last thing I need is your approval. You know what? Honestly, I love you guys for whoever supports me and whoever is willing to give criticism. But for people who just don't like a pick and unsubscribe, the last thing I want is you in my in my subscription box. I mean, so. for me, it is what it is. You know, it's like agree or disagree. Well, honestly, I mean, I really could information. I don't mind. 
It allows like, me but... to become a better evaluator, hearing different opinions, seeing wh- what they got right, what I got wrong. Well, somebody says I unsubscribe because I don't like a pick. He's an Eagles fan, he's, man. He's he's hurt. He's bet- fine. He feels betrayed. It's fine. Uh, you know, you're never going to like anybody's picks. But I took the- Wyatt and uh, George Pickens, by the way. Okay. This pick, I think I'm going to go with Sean Ryan. He definitely feels like he could be a Northwest head dude. and Not Northwest, but like Mid-North. What, what do you call that area? Midwest? Midwest, uh, I guess. Yeah, Midwest, dude. Um, Lake area? Even, yeah, Lake area. But you got Elton Jenkins moving to right tackle. Oh, do they you list know, him as a tackle? I guess they do. I think they do list Sean Ryan as a tackle. He has played yeah. left tackle, but he's going to be a really good plug in day one. Also, Bakhtiari has like played one game in a thousand years. So you also have his ability to play left tackle, a true left tackle, and he's really damn good in the run game. So I said he wasn't going to be there, funnily enough. Mafe's off the of board, course, by the way, guys. He's not on the board. Yeah, Mafe's not on the board. I I, I righted that wrong. <laughs> yeah. Um, Sean Ryan definitely should be the pick. Like, There's just such a big drop-off after him. Uh, you did Elam for the Patriots, correct? Yes. Uh, that is correct. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Patriots, they always do fun things. Uh, this, this just feels like a Patriots pick, like straight up. Uh, I'm going to go Christian Harris, have him be the Dante Hightower replacement. Yeah. He's long. He can blitz. He tracks the ball. Well, wait, do you see Christian Harris? Yeah. What about Chad Muma? Uh, he's not physical. That's that's the biggest gripe I have with Muma is his physicality. I don't question that with Harris. So the Eagles fans have come to the rescue all talking about how they loved uh, Alec Pierce. So that is exactly why I don't listen to everybody's opinion. If you want to give criticism that has logic, (laughs) then I am all ears. But if you want to give some hate because you are all bummed out about a pick. It's, it's okay, but see right here, this is where you can say that. It's gonna come out right over there. Oh, buddy, you're. <laughs> Listen, I love my fan. I love the you people who are actually hurt. You're hurt. I, I get it. I am hurt by I somebody who spams a chat. You're offended. You're hurt. I am offended. You're. But I also love the people who are willing to give. You're in a glass, a uh, glass box of emotion. <laughs> yes. But this pick's gonna be Brees Hall. Come at me. I think he's the best. What he's the best running back in the class. Yeah, I think and... a large portion of the NFL does too. I mean, I, yeah. I like Walker, but honestly, it's 1A, 1B to me. I just think that Bruce would be a really good combo back. Even though he's a three down, I think he'd be really good yeah. with um, with James Conner. Yeah. Your turn. All right. What did we, what I, I did Zion, right? Um. Yeah, you went Zion Johnson. <laughs> okay what? thank you it took you like five minutes no i was reading the chat to make sure that we <laughs> haven't gotten any more crazy stuff going on hey crazy it's just someone that disagrees dude hey crazy it's criticism no, I, welcome I, I was criticism seeing, i live on criticism it helps me go to bed at night because it soaks my pillow with salty tears <laughs> All right, man. Cowboys, what am I going to do here? Linebacker be nice. I don't think Muma's the linebacker, though. He might not be it. I'm not going to discredit him. I'm not going to discount him. I don't. I just don't think he might be it. But honestly, I don't think there's a better area to go. Is, is there maybe a trade that could happen here? Let me see. So Nick Cross could be a very intriguing option for the Cowboys, by the way. Just want to throw that out there. Uh, they, they, they did re-signed a bunch of those guys though they brought i know i'm saying like long-term option not like short term and i get that and honestly i when you said nick cross i thought maybe niners trade up Ooh, that is intriguing that was the first thing that came to mind dude rj was talking to me and he nick cross is a stud dude he is um laron landry straight up that's my comp laron landry for nick cross i love nick cross so his first question for me, the scouting director of the 40 to not the 40 freaking Niners. His first question, not like, oh, well, like, do you have any favorites in the class? He's like, what do you think of the safeties? Who are your favorites? Like, do you think that, like, what do you think these safeties are going to be? 
All he cared about was the safeties. So I think that would be a very good option to potentially move up with the Niners select the safety. Yeah. That being said, you do have some solid potential starter quarterbacks on the board. So I don't want to disrespect Kenny Pickett because he is not that crap. Like he's, he's not training enough for a quarterback, bro. You got Lions. I mean, oh yeah, Quay Walker is here. That is a good point. Ooh, that is a good point. Dude, I do like yeah. Quay. Quay Walker, like. That wouldn't even be a bad fit on the That's, freaking Cowboys. Like, he's a guy that I believe can play the mic. See, I have questions mm. of Muma and, like, Tyndale, who are guys that I well, love, yeah. but I question really if high they're under the them. mic. Yeah, Quay Walker. And the dude's length, like, no one talks about it. Like, the yeah. dude's got legit length. Here, I'm going to I'm gonna go up here and take a look real quick. Uh, 32 and 5 eighths. Hmm. Freaking wild. But to be fair, so does like so does uh stinking Tyndale. But again, Tyndall is like a guy that's he's he's gonna be more blitzer than he is like run stuffer. Like that's that's mm. just him. Um actually I like that. I like that. I like that. That's a good thank you. Who who said that in the chat? Try to find it. I'll snipe him. Yeah. It's much appreciated, like Walker is is like the forgotten linebacker in this class. Uh, by the way, you're the Bills. I am. I know. I'm looking for. Um, somebody actually brought up a really intriguing dude. Uh, for I know that I don't have the pick for the Falcons, but it was just like was I already know what I, where I'm going for the Falcons. Um, and I can't be talked off it. Well, I just wanted to see because they said a very good point. I don't care who you take. I was, I just thought, I was like, oh, I might want to include that with mine. Um, somebody said something about Nick Benito. There's Lee Smith. Ah, talk about yeah. Kenny. That, that's a good pick. Um, uh, Lee, Lee so, sorry. Smith's talking about Adam Anderson. Uh, I, I don't mind taking him as a low draft pick. So I really don't. For, if he ends up being guilty, then he's cut. It's as simple as that. Oh, um, for the Bills, I'm definitely considering Kenneth Walker here. I think Kenneth, uh, while he's an upgrade, he is more the same at probably one of the least valuable positions. Like he's more the same of what they have in Zach I'm Moss about, and Devin Singletary. I'm thinking about where he's the holes better. are though. Like where are the actual holes on this roster? Uh, um, guard. Yeah, there's no one here who I'd ever draft a guard. Like oh. Jamari, maybe, but... I couldn't see and him. Honestly, he's kind of the cup of tea for the Bills. Yeah. They I mean, both, like, what they brought in Saffold. What, what's yeah. the other guard position looking like? Cody Ford, probably. Yeah, I remember Cody Ford getting all that hype, man. Yeah, I, I, I think miss it's, those days. Uh, it's like some German name, I think. It's like Boeck or something. I, I'm not positive. Intriguing. And he's, um, they he's, brought in some dudes at D tackle this offseason as well. No, they have Ryan Bates listed here, but it's uh, Ike Boat 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 Boat. I'm terrible. Who's with names, a backup tight end? He's pretty. He's not bad. Backup tight no, end. Gronk is was OJ freaking Howard. <laughs> oh shit! You're right. Damn it. That would have been. So, I would have loved that so much. Um, honestly, I'm intrigued to potentially get Jalen Tolbert here. Who would you be picking? I know you look at linebacker for this team. Uh, that, moment wouldn't be bad. That is that is a tough one. Um, yeah. Honestly, Sawyer, I uh, I wouldn't mind going with Sawyer. Uh, I think that's just not BPA, man. Like sometimes when you're yeah, but I mean, like sometimes if you're a championship team, a dude to plug a hole. Could probably be found in free. Right, David Castro is still out on the free agent market, by the way. Who I remember that dude, David Castro, like the all pro guard from the yeah, Steelers. But isn't he like, doesn't he have got injury concerns going on or probably, something? But he hasn't played for the past year. Yes. I mean, like, I'm just saying, like, if you need to plug a hole, there are dudes. Um, who are out there. all right, Desmond Ritter, by the way. Uh, yeah, I'm doing I know, a I'm foreshadowing there, and I know the chat, some of the chat might hate that, but hey, it is what it is. Nick Benito, yeah, Kenny Pickett, Kenneth Walker, uh, Kingsley and Agbar Ree, Perrion Winfrey, uh, Nick Cross, Sam Williams, Jalen Tolbert, 
Who is Trey that McBride? Uh, well, it's it's Poyer and uh, Hyde. Yeah, I'm talking about backup. When are the position rankings dropping? They're going to start dropping this week. The positional rankings. Those those. Oh, straight up, Scott Nelson, of... atheist. Uh, Scott Nelson. I mentioned in one of my sleepers videos, not the recent one, but the one before that. I mentioned Scott Nelson out of Wisconsin. I'm a sucker for Wisconsin prospects this year. By the way, like really, yeah, I love Logan uh, Bruss. Uh, Jake hmm. Ferguson's just great. Uh, I do I like, like Scott Nelson. I like uh, I like Caesar. Mm-hmm. Uh, we all like Leo Chanel. Jack S- Sanborn's going to be a great early day three pick. Like, yeah, I like Jack Sanborn. I'm trying to figure out. Um, so Jordan Poirier's under contract till 2023. Yeah, Cole I'm really think- can play guard. Didn't it wasn't goal. Sh- Cole Strange, did he play guard? He was center. If I'm not mistaken. Are you sure? Yeah, but they just gave Saron Neal a freaking contract extension. Yeah, but he I was he, really he, trying to justify he's a, Nick he's a, big, he's a big special teamer, though. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to figure out where I would want to go because I might want to get a wide receiver. Dude, Marquez Stevenson might be the best wide receiver for that they have on the roster. Oh, Jameson Crowder's there? Yeah, he's there. The trade, man, dude, shit. Dude, they this, also they brought, have a loaded uh, roster. They brought Isaiah McKenzie back too. Yeah, they did. I'm looking at this roster, man, and I'm gonna be straight up. There's not much I could upgrade here. Yeah, and like you know what? Like after going through it, it's like Kenneth Walker's not even bad, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm looking at it. I'm like the position I could upgrade now that I've done corner is gonna be running back. Let's just go, Kenny. Let's do it. All right. Are you I'm- seriously gonna go QB here? <laughs> Yeah, it's great value. I have Desmond oh. at 29. Oh, what? Okay, he was left guard. Uh, Cole Strange was left guard, he was? and he played a little bit of left tackle when uh, their tackle went down. It was just at the it senior was, bowl. He yeah, it was at the senior bowl. He played center. Gotcha. Um, 59 with the Packers. I'm still looking at edge rusher who's pretty oh, raw. I haven't picked Ritter just yet, dude. Oh, well, there goes my board. <laughs> All right, I am uh, going to now officially select Desmond Ritter to the Falcons. All right, so... And you know what's think... funny? You know what my mm. comp is? What's Spoiler up? for uh, Desmond Ritter. Yeah, what's up? I think I told you this. Marcus Mariota. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> who did... I, I actually put shades of Marcus Mariota as well, I think. Yeah. So we did Traylon Burks, Desmond Ritter. What was the other? Brian Osamoa. Mm-hmm. Dang, dude, Nick Benito would have been nice though. But quarterbacks more. That's value. where I thought you were going. That's where I thought you were going. Um, you know this pick, I'm going Nick Benito. That's fair. The Packers. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. He can work really well as a rotational edge. I gotta make sure. Yeah, yeah, that's who it is. Ooh. All right. So you, who did you take? Travis Jones. Travis Jones. Dude. Oh, man. If Logan Ryan weren't here, I'd be like harping on the Nick Cross train. Hey, who's the tight end for this team right now? Uh, it's Cameron Brait because they haven't brought back. Uh, yeah. So it would not like, be a honestly, bad move. Yeah, yeah. McBride wouldn't be bad at all. Yeah, because uh, I was thinking, I was like, damn, I forgot OJ moved to to Buffalo because that just totally changes yeah. it. Muma's not bad. I don't think. I think. It, I think Tindall is actually probably the better linebacker if they go linebacker here. Why would they go linebacker? Because uh, Levante David's like what ninety seven. <laughs> Closing in on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pickett is just sitting there. Uh, hey, dude, when I get to a team that I think needs a good backup quarterback, I'll start considering Pickett. Man, you hate that guy. He's I don't 41. hate him. It's just... Yes, you do. Literally... Do not come at me for Trent McDuffie when I am when you're talking about... Okay, Kenny but you're... Trent McDuffie, it's like, okay, typically quarters on the outside don't have 30-inch arms. Yet we saw about four of them last year start on the outside with under 30-inch arms. What I am saying is... When you are when Michael Vick's the only other guy to do what you're trying to do, and you ain't that athletic and you don't have that arm strength that Michael Vick did, then yeah, historically you are rolling the dice. <laughs> as you are with the 59 picks before this. Not as much. 
Not as much. There are guys, but okay. Continue. Uh, I do like Tyndall. Uh, uh, who? Uh, we were talking McBride. Mm-hmm. McBride. McBride sounds real sexy. Doesn't and it? you you know what I don't mind if I get maybe if maybe Tyndall's available later or if I have yeah. to get like a Beavers or a uh, mm-hmm. a uh, Anderson. I mean that could be something I trade up for. Uh, so yeah, I think I'll go McBride. All right. Ooh, I have the Niners. Um, shoot, we talked about it earlier. Yeah. I think I'm going to go there. Nick Cross or Maryland. Safety is a position where they need to target. Ooh. I think Nick Cross would be nice. Yeah. Alex, that's a good question. Uh, I think he's got good. I, I think McDuffie is, he's just, he's versatile. I think he could play, play safety as well. He's a sure tackler. Uh, yeah. What did you say? Nick Cross? Uh, Nick Cross. My boy. My boy. Uh... Dude, Martin Emerson's still on the board for the Chiefs. That's a home run pick in my opinion. Well, I'm worried just because Emerson, he, like, he, he's so good in zone that I, I just don't think it's a good scheme fit. Dude, where is Nick Craw? There he is. That's the only thing I worry about is, like, oh, what specifically, let, let's look. Let's look statistically how often they ran zone last year. Then why not go Marcus Jones? I'm not taking a undersized slot. I just told you undersized. I use the word undersized, so you calm down. And when I say undersized, we're t- we're talking like undersized. <laughs> He's a beast. He is a beast. He's a beast. I love him better as a like a third round area, or I even consider him with the Broncos. Like that's I have him at seventy three. It's he's not that high on my board. I just consider him. Yeah, I was just doing it for the fun. Um. Uh, I yeah. mean, what about Perry on Winfrey here? Uh, that was the uh, other guy I was actually considering at the last pick. Yeah. So, yeah, Dude, if I, I don't feel great about corner here, which I really don't, it's like, like I said with Emerson, he's like, if this was a zone heavy team, press zone, then I'm like, mm-hmm. heck yeah. Pulling yeah. the trigger, running mm-hmm. the card up, taking my pants off, waving them around, having a party. But, I, I don't think that's the case. I just want to make sure, reaffirm that real quick. What? Uh, that they are. They were man heavy last year. Because I'm pretty sure. At? I know they were press heavy, but I'm pretty sure they yeah. were man heavy as well. What are you looking at? No, I'm just going to PFF and looking at uh scheme. Dude, I have, I have like barely used my PFF Elite subscription. For like the NFL, uh, I use it quite a bit because at least it gives you context. Like, well, I'm saying for the amount that I should be using. Oh yeah, it's like, like relative. Like yeah, I don't. It's not like end all be all. You know, it's like yeah. it give it gives you context to where you can see how they kind of rate, like how they yeah. get into their conclusions. I guess. Uh. So Damn. I looked up the highest coverage grade for the team. It's like Washington Commanders and then the Steelers. Yeah, well, the Steelers had a rough season last year. Oh yeah, that did not feel good. I mean, you made the playoffs. Can't say that about my Dolphins. How ridiculous was that, dude? I'm like, what on earth? It's just some crazy stuff, man. I tell you. All right, so. <laughs> Oh man, they uh they did dip into a bit of zone more more often than I thought. Well, I thought if Chavarius Ward's a fit for the Niners, yeah. I always thought that Emerson Well, well, he, I think he's a fit because they want to at least have more ability to play man. That's why they also made the draft pick of Aubrey Thomas who came from more press man heavy Michigan team. Mm-hmm. Um I mean, to be fair, they were one of the more uh, one of the teams that played more man. But like to be fair, they play did play a lot of zone. Uh, now I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with the trenches though. For now, okay. uh, you in the wimp? Yeah, and you know what? I'm gonna kind of hope that a guy like uh Cambrit Taylor is available for the Chiefs at yeah. ninety. Yeah, I think you're probably gonna have to trade up 
but dude, I'm for the Bengals, I'm just gonna swing for it. Martin Emerson. That's fair. No, that's a great that's a great fit. Yeah. Yeah, it's my dream fit for him right there. Oh, dang it. You're up move here. Dude, I wanna I don't know if I put my Bengals as a dream fit. Because I'm having my videos go up for dream fits, by the way. Yeah, I need your channel. Definitely... Dude. <laughs> I, I no, no, I gotta um I gotta do a little bit better on my SEO in terms of figuring out the right stuff for that one. But all right, Denver me. Brock was on a side note. <laughs> yeah. Dude, you gotta go Chad, right? Yeah, Chad's kind of the idea. Um because I mean, let's be honest, Roger McCreary, it's not like I think yeah. he's not gonna be more of like he's he's more of a DPR. Okay. Um which kind of would be Tyndall, just one you put into coverage a bit more. Uh, so yeah, I think it, it it's Muma. There you go. Um, by the way, Martin Emerson, his only dream fit was the Bengals, so I'm pretty happy about that. I love that fit so much. Yeah, let's see how they. Grade it's like my favorite thing. Class. Yeah, yeah. I want to see this. I want to see the grade. I'm going back to to the Zoom to see it live. Uh. I don't see grades. Oh wait, go back to the top. Um, I don't think I think they took the grade stuff off. Uh, no, they definitely have the grades. Hold on. Um. All right. Well, we we could discuss what we did for the teams. Yeah, yeah. Do that in the meantime. I'm I'm gonna be looking up. Yeah, you uh, go look, my friend. All right, so the Jaguars went with Aiden Hutchinson. They, I believe, we they traded back up in the first to get Tyler Linderbaum, and that was their draft. So Linderbaum and Aiden Hutchinson's kind of, kind of nice, kind of nice. Yeah. Uh, the Detroit Lions, KT, Nicobe Dean, uh, Lewis Seen was their pick. So. Yeah, really addressing all levels of the defense there. Mm. Yeah, would have been nice to get a receiver, but eh, again, you got to respect how the board goes. Oh, grades are off because of forced trade. Washington Commander Center. Command Center, excuse me, said. Thank you. Gotcha. Yeah. That makes uh, a lot of sense. Yeah, Evan Neal goes to the Texans along with Trayvon Walker. And then... We did Daxton Hill, which is fair. Yeah. Um, I'm right now trying to plug in um, every pick that we did, trying yeah. to see if it would actually give a grade. Yeah. It can McWanu, Garrett Wilson, le- legit. You're getting Uno, not just Uno, but Dose help for Zach Wilson. Uh, we did have to give up one of the seconds to move up. I think that's worth it. And then we ended up grabbing Devin Lloyd, who arguably is a first rounder. So that's, I think that's a money draft for the Jets. Oh, yeah. The Jets had a good draft. Yeah. The like Giants, uh, they go cross, they go sauce. And then in the second round, they went Chanel. So they got linebacker because you can't just have Blake Martinez only. And then the James Bradbury potential replacement, if anything. Uh, Dory Jackson might not be a long-term answer either, uh, even yep. if they do retain Bradbury. And cornerback depth is literally the best thing you could do for your defense. And you got help for uh, Wilson, or Wilson, uh, Jones. There we go. Yes, sir. And then uh, the Steelers, they traded up. They got Malik Willis. They gave away a first next year as well as a third in this year's class. Mm-hmm which they also was able to able to snag Jaquan Brisker, which I, I like that. I like that. That's a dream. Yeah, yeah. I think that could be a first round target for them yeah. if they don't go QB. Honestly, like Carolina being able to trade back twice and get like, m- like multiple picks in this class. I don't care who they draft. That's a win in my book. A hundred percent. Yeah. Seahawks go Derek Steenley. And then in the second, they go Drake uh, Jackson. They trade back because the Saints, you know, need a receiver. Uh, and they were able to snag Matt Corral, you know. So uh, I'll leave that up to the chat. <laughs> I would have been in that, but I do I get why. Him. I do get why. He's my number 33 I player. mean, to be fair, I kind of just did the same. I did the same thing for Atlanta, so. 
can't really yeah say i was that. like i was like hold up now uh the um, eagles <laughs> they trade up with carolina after carolina traded down to 10 mm-hmm. Eagles snagged Kyle Hamilton, then they grabbed uh, Trent McDuffie with the next pick, and then it was Alec uh, Pierce, right, in the second? Yep, Alec Pierce. So they get a big boy target for Jalen Hurts. The Washington football team, that's not them. It's the Commanders. Get the Comrades out, baby. Dude, yes. They go Drake London and then uh, Jalen Pitry, right? Yeah. Jalen Pitry, yep. pretty solid, pretty solid. Yeah, you're and welcome. Then uh, Minnesota, I go Jameson Williams. This is l- very different than what I normally do. I typically would go Trent McDuffie, but hey, man, they're bringing in the uh, former Rams offensive coordinator, so probably he's like, give me all the receivers. <laughs> then, uh, and then I snagged Roger McCreary in the second round. I imagine he's a slot early. If anything, um, he eventually moves out to the outside. He was the best corner on the board at that value, mm-hmm. in my opinion. Uh, Pitry, mm-hmm. you could argue, but Pitry, I, you're not. He's not going to be able to play on the outside. McCreary has loads of experience on the outside. Yes, I'm right now like filling in the draft thing is so slowly because I'm having to remember where everybody went. Because yeah, we did uh, trades, and I'm like, I know that I'm not going to be able to do that. So Alex in the chat is talking about the uh, the trade with the Jets-Panthers is not realistic. Listen, I just saw what the Saints and the Eagles did trade-wise. Don't talk to me about that trade's not realistic. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Wait, did just, you go to Devontae White with that first pick for the Packers? Yeah. Wow. So we'll get to it. There. All right. I'm so, but filling it in, that's why. Ah, so the Ravens go Jermaine Johnson in the first, and then in the second, they snag Tyreek Wolin as a future corner, more of their project guy. Which I mean, to be fair, you're you're gonna be behind Marcus Peters and Marlon Humphrey, so let's say okay. Mm-hmm. Uh this was the Panthers after trading down twice. I took Sam Howell. I'm high on Sam Howell. Hater gonna hate. Uh, but being able to pick up a second rounder, that was huge. Bernard Ryman, I got my left tackle. We did it, boys. I got more. I got also, I think they, we also snagged a pick in the third round from the second trade down. So their pick, they now have three picks in the top 100 opposed to just that one pick. So kind of, kind of huge. I'm just Kenny Pickett didn't even go, man. It's just so funny. He's gonna go, but it's like I, again, it de- it depends on your flavor of quarterback. Like, he, he he's gonna go higher than this. Yeah, but <sighs> we, we went Sky Moore right for the Chiefs in the first. Yeah, Sky Moore and uh, Jabo. Uh, yeah. The Saints they go Trevor Pettin and then Jordan Davis, and mm-hmm. then they trade up for Christian Watson. I was about to say Jahan Dotson, but that's not the case. I had to make that move because Dotson came off the board. Hmm. Wow, um, Kenyon Green is ranked 42 on PFF's big board, man. Yeah. I mean, I'm I still have I still have Kenny Green, like I think in the 30s. Yeah. Perhaps. Let's actually check this out. Kenyon Green. Where art thou? Kenyon okay. Green. Uh 38. Dude. Okay. All right. So for the Chargers, we'll get to the Falcons. Calm down, Millie Miz. Millie Mills. Um. Oh yeah, I'm. Dude, I'm like filling all of this in right now, and it's like I'm hearing you say a name, and I'm like praying to God I don't randomly <laughs> click the wrong dude. All right, so the Chargers, they go Chris Olave. They don't have a second rounder, so this was their pick. So Chris Olave, grabbing mm-hmm. um more weapons for Herbert, and Indeed. then the Falcons. What everyone was waiting for, they trade down. With the Steelers getting a first next year and a third this year. So they go Traylon Burks. And then in the second round with their first pick, they go Brian Asamoah to put up next to uh, Deion. Deion Jones? Yes. And then I took Desmond freaking Ritter. Yes, I did. We have our guys, man. At, at the end of the day, this is not a predictive mock draft. We did what we... Like what we wanted. I to. mean, if it was, it was Kenny. Kenny Pickett be gone. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 
but, and I wouldn't have drafted. And Matt Sam Crowell Howell wouldn't be going to the first. It just doesn't yeah. sound like the NFL's high on Sam Howell. Maybe it's a smoke screen. Uh, Patriots take Kyir Elam. I took Christian Harris in the second. I really feel like he is a Patriot through and through. He feels identical to Dante Hightower, just mm. a bit more athletic. And then uh, Packers, I took Devontae Wyatt, and then I followed that up with George Pickens because a lot of the buzz for the Packers right now is around Pickens. Uh, and to be fair, the top five wide receivers were off the board at that time. And then in the second, we had two picks, I believe. Uh, you took Sean Ryan, mm-hmm. and then I th- yeah, and then you took Nick Benito. Yes, I did. So, yeah, Nick Benito is an interesting guy, man. He could go a lot earlier. It just really depends on how a team feels about him and their scheme. He's not right for every scheme. Definitely. No, I agree with that one. Um, yeah. Dude, I'm uh, so close. I'm on pick 47 right now. I'm nice. like, I see the light at the end of the tunnel. All right, so the Cardinals take George Karloftis, get their replacement for uh, Chandler Jones. I mean, that's saying it kindly because those are big shoes you got to replace. And then they took Brees Hall to back up a often hurt James Conner. They do have Eno Benjamin back there too. I liked him coming at it, uh, ASU. He's all right. He's not bad. Yeah. No. And then uh, Cowboys took Zion Johnson. And then I think it was Quay Walker I was talking to by the Mm. chat the often forgotten about quay walker so i think that's a solid draft um granted you could say you're not hitting like highly valued positions but they are significant holes for the cowboys no Um, i agree yeah andrew booth going to the bills and then we took kenneth walker he was the best player available at Mm -hmm. honestly like a team that doesn't have too many holes yeah Oh, man. So, wait, we took Quay Walk for the Cowboys, right? Yes, sir. Awesome. Yeah, dude. Like, this I, it's so funny because the thing is, if we did this draft over again, it would come out completely different. No, oh, yeah. I mean, it really like, depends that's on how you're it. feeling at that moment, you know? Absolutely. And there's so many different rationales that you can use for each pick that it's there's no pick that's actually a bad pick unless you can't back it up. Yeah. Yeah, and, I mean, again, we won't find out until like typically three years down the line. Oh yeah, unless you, I mean, you're like Isaiah Wilson, ouch. just dancing shirtless on top of a car. Dude, how sad is that? How sad is that? Literally, the trade for him, uh, for the Dolphins, because that's who the Titans pitched him to. It yeah. was just swapping seventh rounders, and then Isaiah Wilson was thrown oh. in. That's all it was. So that uh, just hurts, yeah. dude. Like that really does hurt yeah. a lot. I feel like I skipped the Seahawks. No, you didn't, because you talked about Matt Corral. Oh, I did talk about Corral. Good, good ear, man. Travis yeah. Jones going to the Bucks on a side note. And then I with like their that. other pick, uh, this was me. Oh, Trey McBride. I almost took Tyndall, but uh opted for McBride. I I think both are were would be good options. Okay, let's see. Uh the Chiefs. Four. David Ajabo, and then Sky Moore, and then with their next picks, hmm. uh, Boye Mafe. Literally, they got their edge duo for the next four years. They can move on from Frank Clark after this year. And then Ayo. I took uh, Perry on Winfrey, I believe. How yep. weird! It does. It still doesn't grade, man. Still doesn't grade. Who cares? I know. Let's just well, assume they're all Fs. That's fair. Uh, Never the fair. bagels take Kenyon green. And then what did you do at the back end? Oh, Martin Emerson. That's a great pick. I like Martin Emerson. I love lot. Martin Emerson, dude. All right. Martin and Emerson's done. Tennessee Titans, they traded out of the first round. You know, they have never traded out of the first round before. And they just did it with their own team in their own division. Yeah. Yeah. The, when I was going back to do, cause I was like, I like nobody for this pick for the Titans. And I found out they've never traded out of the first round. I was like, well, shoot, man. Uh, This is predictive, so I might as well go with they've never done it before, so why would they do it now? But they did here, and they took uh, Tyler Smith. Yeah. And let's – oh, the Bears. Here we go. The Bears took Jahan Dotson and then Abraham Lucas. That's right. Golly, that's a solid draft. It is. Dude, Sangi says – it won't grade unless it's for only one team. Oh, okay. So now so, we've come to the 
There we go. I don't have to waste my time doing that ever again. (laughs) All right. So the Colts took Kyler Gordon. Really good scheme fit. Yeah. Guy with a lot of upside. Uh, Size is a little let down, but I still think he... It's good enough for this scheme. Yeah. uh, Like going back and looking at it, uh, Kyler Gordon, he ended up playing 5'11". Just under. Yeah, he's like 5'11". 194. He's got 31-inch arms. To be fair, he actually... The arm length isn't like... Insane. He's more of a he's he's better projection in terms of his athletic profile, in my opinion. Yeah, in that scheme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you don't need to be four, four, four five two. He had a thirty nine yeah. and a half inch vert. Uh, yeah. dude, talk. What is there's something up with these pro day three cone times? Because a lot of them have been coming back sub seven, like ridiculous. That's pretty like ridiculous. His was six point yeah. six seven. Ooh. Yeah, and he also had a sub four second shuttle short shuttle but don't they like they make it official right they actually like watch it and then they do like the slow-mo and shit right yeah but i mean that's still why they call the pro day the home field advantage because yeah it's like how much of it are you gonna buy uh i believe uh the niners are the only other team here we have yet to mention and they took nick cross is one of my oh and the broncos but Nick Cross, one of my favorite prospects in this class. He's a my guy. Uh, Chad mm-hmm. Muma going to the Broncos. Uh, linebacker help. Yep. Who would have thought? <laughs> yeah, so, Alex Singleton is not going to be the answer. Yeah, Even though exactly. he was actually pretty good last year. He wasn't that good last year. Did he great out? He's like a top 10 run defender. Uh, well, shoot, let's find out. Yeah, I thought he was like a top, I thought he was a top um, run defender for I mean, PFF. Again, those are dime, dime a dozen, you know. Top ten? That's that's pretty. I mean, I mean run right. defenders in general. Yeah, I mean, in a passing league, well, like, <laughs> sounds like this should have been three rounds. I'm like, yeah, I don't have the stamina for that. Yeah, I know, right? I'm already, I'm already running on empty. Yeah, I gotta worry about videos for tomorrow and for the rest of the way. I gotta go through all these photoshops for those positional rankings for you guys. All right, Singleton, where art thou? Here, I'm just going to look at snap total because I know he was the leader. Uh, I don't think he was a top-run defender, I'll say that, but he had a above-average grade. But I golly, he dude, top-end. he was dog water as, like, in coverage. But at least he made splash plays in coverage, I'll say that. At least he made smash splash plays. I'll say yeah. that. No, I mean, he was serviceable. Yeah. So, hey, if y'all haven't already, I should have mentioned this at the beginning. Uh, but I did. Uh, like, the vi- uh, like the stream. It helps it get picked up by YouTube, and they can watch this uh, chicanery. I think that's a word. I don't know. I've, I don't know if I've done. I think I've already done my wordle for the day, so huh. I'm going to sign out. <laughs> <laughs> You got the activities out of the way. Dude, yeah, no. Like, I always try to do uh, Wordle, Quirtle, or Quaddle, however you say it, the four. The Yeah, the four one. Yeah, and the Waffle Game. The Waffle Game's my, my stuff. But anyway, you thank you for hanging out with us. If you haven't checked out Alex, he makes a lot of good content as well. So please, give him a look. And as always, until next time, which is probably tomorrow when I put out a video, You be easy, my friends. Later.